It's Jess. Just kidding. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, my God. Pippi. <laughs> Hello. Dude, that song is a total bop, right? I just found it. Because I always... Oh. <laughs> and that auto plays after. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, <laughs> that was so funny. I was like, it's not going to auto play. Goes on to the next one. No, so I was on Epidemic Sound, which is um, a uh, platform that, like, probably your favorite creators use. Rebecca, thank you for renewing your membership. I appreciate it. Um, and, yeah, like, I use it to, like, source all of my music that I put in my backgrounds and my videos and stuff. And then I always, like, just see what's on there for a new, new live stream intro. Amaya. Christensen, thank you for subscribing. Kate, Kate Mueller. I almost called you Katie. Sorry. Kate Mueller, thank you for renewing your membership. Anyway, it was on there. Um, and I played it and I was like, damn. So I'm glad you guys like it too. Um, it was called Who's That Girl Be by Little Let me restart that sentence. Who's That Girl? Artist is E L F L featuring Vicky Vox. I don't know, but it's a fucking bop. Listen, your favorite sociopath. Thank you for being a member for 34 months. Jiminy Christmas. Al Alaskan BL Tundra. How's AZ treating you as of late, ma'am? Well, let me tell you, it's hot as balls right now. <laughs> like, so hot. <laughs> what is happening? Um, it was like 80 today. I didn't even want to walk to go pick my daughter up from school. I drove. <laughs> I'm like, mm, too sweaty. Uh, listen, guys, I appreciate you all being here. Thank you for putting up with my technical difficulties. I don't know what happened there. My internet was like, time to take a shit. And I said, N now? Now is when you're going to take a shit? Uh, neurotic, what is it? Neurotic nitwick, <laughs> nit, oh my God. Can Savannah talk today? No. Neurotic nitwit. Thank you for being a member for 21 months. We got Tanya a whole year look at you tanya um austin what aren't you always a member what are you doing here <laughs> uh quinlan thank you for being a member for 16 months i just appreciate all of you aaron bees is here hello aaron bees love you too it's snowing where you guys are jealous um no our temperatures are, it's literally 81 degrees here right now which i guess isn't I guess it's almost April. That's pretty standard, I think, for Phoenix. Um, but it's supposed to be in the 60s, I think, this weekend. So it'll be nice. But something's happening. I don't know. Um, anywho. So, do you guys want to get started? Actually, before we watch that oil show. Hang on. <laughs> I, need to, I need to make you guys really mad real quick. So... I discovered this song yesterday, two days ago. So you guys know how MLMs like to make their own music? Well, Paparazzi not only has their own song, which I've put in some of my videos before. It's like, I'm all about that bling, that bling, the Paparazzi bling. Okay. Um, oh my God, I'm missing people renewing their membership. Elaine, Maggie, thank you. Did I miss anyone else? No, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Um, so the person who made that song has a whole album, y'all, and this one is by far <laughs> Katrina Ann Lee Folderman. Thank you for becoming wave makers. This one is by far the worst, the worst MLM song on the planet. Badly written, badly performed. Beth, thank you for being a, a member for nine months. And, um, I have to share it with you guys. Oh, I won't, we won't listen to the whole thing. Trust me. I don't want anyone's ears bleeding. It's going to bleed. Really bad, though. This song is called The House That Bling Built. And we're just going to get in the mood. This is just a mood setter. We're, we're all going to yeah, get my kids are laughing downstairs. They know it's hilarious. And um, yeah, there's a whole album, Aaron. Actually, so there's only like three of the songs on there are actually about paparazzi. The rest are about Jesus. <laughs> very weird it's weird anyway eclectic Mima, thank you for being a member for nine months i'm gonna play this we're all gonna get in the mood i want everyone to just with me now for a moment close your eyes and imagine you're at the paparazzi convention you're sitting in the mgm grands 
arena, whatever the fuck it's called, and you're there with the lights. <laughs> and and the, the lights start going and the fog machines start going and this bop, absolute bop, comes on. Thank you. Now, please let's listen. Everything that you need, you guys. Wait, but so come to my house. Come to my house. <laughs> the house that we <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, you get it. Actually, there is a part. If anyone wants to go find it, it's up. Uh, this, this is the video. Um, there's a part where she starts addressing the skeptics in this song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> okay. No, but like, okay, what, what is the, okay, her name is Shelly Alexander. Um, this is the song that I found that I was putting in my old videos, which is an actual bop. I'm all about that bling, that bling, that paparazzi bling. I'm all about that bling, that bling, that five dollar bling. That bling. If you don't think that's a bop, then you're wrong. <laughs> um, your favorite sociopath, thank you for the two doll hairs. That song made my guinea pig rumble. <laughs> um, there's literally um, three, no, two more songs that are like that on the album. I won't subject you to it because no one's going to want to sit and listen to it. But I just <laughs> really, I really needed you all to hear that. Anyway. That oil show, guys, that's what we're actually here to watch today. People click on this like, oh, essential oils, and we're listening to the worst music ever made. Um, so, not yet. Don't you play that theme song yet. Don't do it. We're not ready for the theme song. But, um, <laughs> this is C's- No! No! <laughs> it says- I destroyed it. I destroyed our moment. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, this is season three, episode one. She's, they're going to tell us about how to get started with essential oils. So, um, Elaine, oh my gosh. Thank you for gifting 20 memberships. You know what that means. It's a pop dart party right now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate it. Congratulations to everyone who got a membership to this wild festival of ridiculousness. Um, <laughs> yeah, guys, we're in season three. They got seasons up in here. Um, oh my god, I'm, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Anyway, I get the feeling that this particular episode is going to be a lot, a lot of like basic, standard yet dangerous misinformation about essential oils so that's what we're doing guys all right you ready now here comes the actual best theme song ever it's that time y'all Hello, everyone, and welcome to That Oil Show. We're so glad to have everybody back and on season three here to have Laura back in town. Yay! Yay! We're so glad to have you <laughs> back. It's the OG crew. Um, Do they seem a lot more saturated <laughs> than usual? Right? I'm not wrong here. Like, they all look tan. <laughs> 
<laughs> did they get a new editor? Ooh, or did they all just go to the tanning bed? I don't think so. I think they got a new editor, and some editor was like, you guys need a filter. <laughs> Put a filter on that bitch. Ooh. Oh, for that also. <laughs> Um, but today we're going to be um, we're going to be talking about getting started with our Young Living essential oils, and um, in it's the midst quiet, of this, huh? our, we're all going to be thinking about our first experiences with our oils. Um, but we're just going to basically be covering um, you know how to use our Young Living oils. Many of y'all watching, you may have just opened your first Young Living. The sound box. is a little echoey. You pulled out an you're oil, right. and you're like, well, what do I do with this? And so we're going to help you with that because we've all been. Whoever their new editor is, is like, you know what? You guys definitely need some visual improvements. And then they just forgot all about the audio. <laughs> so what's that about, guys? There. Even if you've used other kinds of essential oils out there, let's start with a clean slate. Our Young Living oils are different. They're, no, they're amazing. Not. <laughs> they're unique. They're powerful. And we get to use them in so many different ways. So let me just debunk that real quick. <clears throat> so the thing that we have come to, whoa, I'm so sorry. The thing that we've come to find out about Young Living Essential Oils is that um, it appears as though we, we found evidence of them importing their, um, a lot of the plants that they use, not all of them, because they do have their own farms uh, where they, they grow their own plants and they make their own, oil, whatever. There's like, like, and you can go look this up. It's like public record. You can go look up their import records. They import plants from the same places, if not the oils themselves, like barrels of oil that's already made. There's been instances of that. They'll import it. From the same places that other essential oil companies import their shit from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, for them to be like, it's different. We're different. No, you're not. You're literally not. Okay, your lavender fields or whatever that you have growing your shit. Like, I, I feel like I might be misremembering, but I don't think so. I feel like there was, like, in the court documents of the doTERRA versus Young Living lawsuit, someone's deposition, is that what you call it? Or is it like an affidavit? I don't know. Um, someone was testifying and saying that even though they have their own, like, lavender and stuff, like, it, it makes up, like, 2% of the lavender essential oils they actually sell. Like, they have to import that shit, too. That's just what I remember. Don't quote me on that. I swear it's in the court documents. Those court documents are, like, 4,000 pages long. Not even kidding. So we're not going to go through and look for those today. <laughs> but my point is... No, Young Living is not special. They're not unique. There's nothing special about these fucking oils. And so the first thing that we're going to talk about today is the aromatic usage of our Young Living essential oils. Why are they so and, quiet? Um, I have them turned up for you guys. several diffusers going here. Young Living is amazing. They have so many different kinds of diffusers. I have and them turned up all the way. And they're coming out with new fun diffusers, and it's always exciting to add to your... Oh, yeah, those new fun diffusers, by the way, this one here, I'm pretty sure I looked it up at one point, pretty sure it's like $350. So, yeah, new, fun, and expensive as hell. Collection, because, hey, every room in the house needs a diffuser. Absolutely. Yes. Right? <laughs> every room in the house needs a $300 diffuser, and I have 17 rooms in my mansion, so... I think we all agree. How many diffusers do y'all have? Can you, do you, do I have you like 12? I have 11. Yeah. yeah. You have 11, 12? I think yeah. I fill eight every day. So. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I have one in every room in the house. Can you fucking imagine what these people's houses smell like? I mean, <clears throat> I guess it's better than like smelling like shit. <laughs> but like walking into one of these people's houses and just like sneezing immediately right like i feel like i would have an allergy attack eight she's like i fill up eight diffusers every day i mean and that at that point it's like that's a chore dude that's just like <laughs> i'm like if i want an extra boost of scent in my life i have um i do okay i do have essential oil like warmers i have one diffuser that i almost never use but i have like warmers in my bathroom just just the bathrooms just you know because it's a bathroom. So, like, if I feel like, or if I, you know, if, if, if someone made a stinky in the bathroom, I'll go set one of those up. 
like just turn on the light and put some drops in you know doing that eight times and th and those are just warmers that i have these people have like these straight up diffusers where you have to fill up the the tank and then you have to put the drops of oil they probably like mix that like alchemy like <laughs> mix and put into these fucking three hundred dollar diffusers and uh they do that eight to twelve times a day I mean, like, throw that in with um, milking the cows and collecting the eggs from the chickens every day. Like, it's a fucking chore at this point. I'm cleaning the garage. <laughs> oh, see? See, I remember when, when I got started in Young Living back in 2006, um, you didn't, like, they had a very basic diffuser, was not anything like these, yeah. and I couldn't afford a diffuser at first, and you didn't, there was no kit with a diffuser. Gee, I fucking wonder why. It couldn't be because they're so overpriced. Like, I think another thing that I've done before in one of my Young Living videos is I've, like, gone and looked up. Like, I have, like I was telling you, I have an essential oil, an actual diffuser that has, like, the diffusing mist and stuff. I think I got that for, like, 20, 25 bucks. And they have a very similar one on Young Living's website. I would guarantee it's like a white label diffuser that they just like put their branding on or something. I don't know. I don't want to say that and be wrong, but um, it's very similar. Um, hundreds, hundreds of dollars. I will look it up right now. And so I just I'll give you an exact my price oils. Like I took of the my one that they have on and their put it on a desk. cotton ball, and mm -hmm. I would stick it up into the air vent <laughs> in the that. ceiling. Yes, did that. remember I did that, that before I could afford to buy. Mm -hmm. And Barry, thank you for uh, renewing your membership. I appreciate it. Diffuser for every room. Yep, there you go. But dude, that's crazy. And Wait, hold on. Let's can we circle back to that? These people couldn't afford these expensive ass diffusers. These are all diffusers too. This is a diffuser. This is a diffuser. And then there's this one. Um, but before anyone was able to afford them, they would soak cotton balls with essential oils and put them in their air vents. That's obsessive and stupid and unnecessary. Sorry. And so, but then, you know, thankfully, Young Living has so many ways and, and ways to get started with Young Living. We can get diffusers a lot easier. And so I just wanted to demonstrate for you really quick, like how easy it is to fill a diffuser. Maybe you've got your diffuser sitting right there and you're like, what do I do this thing? And so they're super easy. Most of them, they're pretty similar. What's the point of this? They come with instructions, lady. Anyway, um, so this one, oh my God, it's worse than I thought. Okay, so this one is the... Aria ultrasonic diffuser although the one on the website has like a wooden base but it's the same thing with the tilted alchemy looking beaker or whatever you call that um $342 for this yeah yeah let's see okay oh and this one's the next one um don't worry I think this one is actually the one that you can get with a kit. So it's their cheaper one. This one is $40, well, $39.41, which uh, I would guarantee that if you went on Amazon or went to fucking Target or something, you could find one of these that looks just like that for half the price. Um, oh, and then the next one here is this one. Uh, this one is also $39.41. Um, they have a diffuser charging pad. They have like a wireless diffuser you could just take with you. That's weird. Uh, that's almost $80. Okay. Duet diffuser. It looks just like a... It just looks like a pot. I don't know. Like a, it looks like an Instapot. Uh, $263.16. Y'all. Rainstone diffuser. Looks like this one except it's black. Um, $258.22. And then they have this one that looks like a dog. Uh, you see them? Um, Sprout the Puppy. $130.26. Got lipstick right there. <laughs> My point is totally unaffordable. Completely unaffordable. And unbelievable. Three, almost $350 for this one here in the middle. Are you serious? Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Eden's Garden is great, Maggie. I've gotten oils from them before. Um, I've recently... Uh, I get all my oil... Well, all my oils. I say like that. I say that like I buy them a lot. I don't. Um, 
but I get them from um, Revive because they are like anti-MLM. I think the people who started Revive used to be in Young Living because now they make dupes of Young Living essential oil blends and they like rename them and they're the same um, blend and stuff. Uh, obviously like 25% <laughs> of the price of a Young Living anything. Um, so, but I started buying from them because I like that they're anti-MLM. I like what they stand for and stuff as far as if you're going to use essential oils, they talk a lot of shit about MLMs. So, um, yeah. Yeah, and again, these oils, these Young Living Essential Oils, in general, they're no different from the ones that you can buy from Revive, Eden's Garden, Plant Therapy, any of those uh, companies. Uh, your favorite sociopath, thank you for the two doll hairs. Bro, $130 is what I pay to take my dog to a groomer. Do you have a big dog? <laughs> That's a lot. Well, I don't know. I haven't been a dog groomer for four years now. Holy shit. Yeah, I quit in 2020 uh, because of COVID, and now I'm here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like $130 is what we would charge to groom, like, a Great Pyrenees or something. You got a big dog? <laughs> I mean, inflation and stuff, I guess. But, like, I can't imagine you would, like, pay that much for, like, a schnauzer or something. I don't know. Anyway. So you can just take the lid off and fill to some water to the oh, line. I'm sweating. I can't quite see the line but I'm going to pretend that that's about it. This is so pointless. Read the instructions. I don't fucking, like, who, who doesn't know how to do this shit? And um, then you pick a favorite oil. So I'm going to be diffusing um, Stress Away. Stress mm. Away, this is one of Young Living's They're all top, like, mm. most popular essential oil. Oh, your favorite sociopath, thank you for the $2 again. You don't have to keep sending in. <laughs> but he's a adult rough collie, like Lassie. Mm. Yeah, I always loved grooming those dogs. They were always so nice. Like, I always wanted a, what are the small, the Shetland, Shetland sheep dogs? Those are like the Lassie dogs, except small. I always thought those were, those were them and the big Lassies. Like, they were always my favorite to groom because they were nice. None of it, like, they all have, like, really good, like, temperament. And then, like, grooming them was just fun because they, they usually had, like, long hair and, like, when you blow dry them, their undercoat goes flying everywhere and it's fun. Anyway. Sometimes, some days I miss being a dog groomer, <sighs> but now I just do this. <laughs> and um, while I'm filling this in, do, do any of y'all love to? Uh, oh, my mom's away? in the chat. Hi, Hi mom. Music. It smells like the beach. Your favorite sociopath? You send me two dollars again, and I'm gonna kick your butt all the way to China. Thank you. Don't tell me how to spend my money. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> butt kicking to China. Oh, it, yeah. it smells to me like key lime pie. Kind of always makes. Oh, me a shut bit, up! <laughs> <laughs> it smells I so love amazing. It. I love it. It's yummy. So I just put. I think I put about eight drops, but you can put about six to eight drops. You know what? Because one of you guys sent me like a box of Young Living like unopened essential oils, and I want to say Stress Away might have been one of them. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't remember. But I'd be interested to smell it. I don't know if I have it. Depends on your diffuser. Um, this Aria diffuser here, uh, I usually put a little bit more in that one. So, you know, follow the instructions that it says on the box. The and then you just push the it's button. On the it's on the front. There we go. You mean to tell and me that you just fill up the reservoir with water and put some oils in it and press a button and that's it? Whoa! Mind blown. It's like there's no way I would have known that otherwise. Thank you for telling us. Outcomes. Jiminy uh, Christmas. Out comes the mist. And so with with our essential oil, so the definition of an essential oil is it's the Hippies volatile here. liquid of a plant. And what does that even mean? It's the, the molecules are super duper tiny and they can evaporate easily and absorb easily. That's just what that means. And so whether you're... Um, Wouldn't, like oils are not something that I would describe as something that evaporates quickly right i mean they do evaporate but like slowly over time right isn't that <laughs> how oils work how can you say it evaporates quickly uh, compared to what like what do you compare uh, quickly compared to what certainly not water breathing in directly everybody grab an oil we're gonna pass around oil some of our favorites frankincense yeah. valor and we're gonna She's do oh, let's see <laughs> Oh, look, here's, here's Citrus Fresh. Okay. Oh, there's some Raven. So everybody's got a different oil. 
And so we're all going to do direct inhalation. Okay. So here's how you do it. Oh, we'll see. All of us do it a little different. <laughs> wait, okay. Laura, Laura, tell okay. us, where did you learn this tip? I learned this from Deborah Starkey. And so we would imprint the oil. And she learned it from, from Gary Young. Gary Young. And so imprinting the oil. Oh, the Lord and Savior Gary Young. You know that whatever she's about to tell us is gospel truth. Oil directly and you inhale, close the nostril. Deep inhalation. These people are on drugs. <laughs> this is, this is, this is some fucking drug shit right now. No, man. Let me tell you. I gotta tell you exactly how to do it. You just... Uh, seriously? Also, this lady's eyeliners drive me nuts. Close the other nostril. And then open and complete breathe. So what is this doing? It's, it's helping to is, imprinting the smell. This is the, so the weird. The molecules are going right into your olfactory, and mm -hmm. so it's just helping you to imprint it into your memory. And oh, oh, we're imprinting scents now. Oh, that's what we're doing. Oh, <laughs> like they have these descriptors of everything that they say and do that is like. You could just just say you're smelling an oil. Like she's just like, well, you see, the molecules go straight to your olfactory senses, which <laughs> it's like, ma'am, just say you're. Sm we know what smelling is. Also, your favorite sociopath. I inhale my dog like that. He smells like him. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> okay, that was worth the two dollars. Okay. Well, welcome back from China. You don't have to. I'm not kicking your butt there anymore. I'm dying. That is so funny. Our sense of smell is very strongly associated with memory. So that's right. It's beautiful. That's right. Memory of what though? Like you're you're just like sitting in your house sniffing an oil. Like I want to remember this moment. <laughs> You know, I sit here at my kitchen table every day sniffing frankincense and I want to remember every single morning. <laughs> I, it doesn't make sense. What are you people doing? Our, um, whenever we breathe in the essential oils, we're not just smelling the molecules, breathing in the molecules that give the fragrance of the oil. We're breathing in so many different therapeutic properties and it's going up through the olfactory nerve into... Please, please tell us what those therapeutic properties are. Please, I'd like to know. The limbic system of the brain that controls your memories. And That's so funny, Mom. I was just thinking. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Mom's going to love that they just said imprinting because I know you love Twilight and you mentioned Twilight. There we go. Yep, they're imprinting on each other <laughs> with, with essential oils. Jesus Christ. Your emotions. Ah, your favorite. So, Listen, you. It's true, he always smells like country ham. It doesn't matter when he was last groomed, always smells like country ham. I mean, I guess that's better than shit, right? <laughs> Just slightly better than shit. Hormones, and so you can actually have a memory or, you know, uh, whenever you breathe in oil, it's pretty amazing. So that direct inhalation, um, is- I just like, I'm sorry, I'm, I know I'm pausing a lot. I just have so many thoughts here. When she says that, I'm just picturing that so Raven, right? I'm thinking like, oh, first of all, this pause face, she looks disgusted. Oops. Oops. So that was a one moment in time that you didn't think anyone would ever notice, but you look really, really upset at yourself. Anyway, what was I going to say? That's so Raven. Okay. Um, so like, I just picture them like having all these bottles of oils and picking one up and just, they have to do the nostril thing. And then... <laughs> and their eyes get all big and then they have like this crazy like moment of a memory that they had just unlocked and like these people these fucking people breathing it out of the bottle um another way of direct inhalation is to put a drop in your hand whoop i have two and this is peace and calming i don't know why i grabbed peace and calming y'all because it does make me a little sleepy <laughs> <laughs> that is not a scientific thing. That's you like conditioning yourself to believe that. Also, um, oh yeah, <clears throat> Maggie mumbles. I was I was watching that video, the um, contrapoints video. I got like halfway through it, but it's like a few hours long, so I didn't finish it. But it was really good. I like contrapoints too. Um, I was gonna say something to my mom. Oh yeah, 
she said, I still love my Twilight series. I gave them all away. Mom, it is 2024. We live stream everything now. You can, you can watch them on any device. <laughs> you probably just have to pay for the digital copy again, but you're a dork. <laughs> but anyway, so then you just rub your hands together and then you, you cup your hands over your mouth and nose and breathe in. Breathe in through your nose. Oh my God, look at all these people. These two are over here rubbing it on their bodies. And then the rest of them are like, just <laughs> This is some cult shit, dude. This is normal people do not behave this way, period. Breathe out. And then it's just, that's direct inhalation. So Danny, thank you reading, for the super sticker. Uh, looking through a resource. And it's your first super sticker ever. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's specific to Young Living Essential Oils. You're going to see that direct inhalation. That's out of the bottle. That's breathing out of the bottle, breathing out through your, uh, from your hands. And then you also have using a diffuser. And so. Um, and that's unique to Young Living how? How? I'd like to know. Does anybody have, what is the first oil that you smelled? First Young Living essential oil? RC. RC? Okay. I forget what, what RC else? stands well, for. Remember? But Peppermint. it's something crazy. Peppermint was your first? Thieves. Thieves? Thieves is my first. Too. Thieves? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you probably just smelled them all. Yeah. Dude, Thieves was mine too. And it's weird that I'm like, I remember my first essential oil from Young Living that I smelled. But it's because they have the Thieves line. So like my um my sister-in-law, I think I've told you guys this before. Yeah, I've told you before. My sister-in-law was with Young Living. I don't know if she still is. I haven't heard her talk about it in a long time. But um I went to her house and like, this was, like, just as I was getting into anti-MLM stuff. Like, I think I had just made my Gary Young video. Um, and she had, like, I saw the feet. She had it, like, sitting on her kitchen table. And then, like, um, not her kitchen table, her um, her sink, her kitchen sink or whatever. She had, like, the hand soap. And then um, I went to the bathroom, and she had the hand soap in there, too. And I'm, like, I'm alone. Like, now I can really, like get this a sniff what's this all about and it was nasty it was gross i hated it the moment i freaking smelled this shit i was like i'll just leave i'll leave this here you can you can have your nasty thieves okay it's gross but you, like you would think i, I guess like essential oils kind of have this like stigma about them that you're like oh they smell good they're from pl plants smell good no Thieves doesn't smell good. Maybe it's like a subjective smell, but I, I don't know what it is. But there's something in Thieves that I'm just like, Ugh. it's very pungent. Just look. Oh, you agree, Tanya, that it's nasty? It is nasty. It really is. <sighs> it's horrible. Like, it's, it's the smell of Thieves alone, I'm like, that's not selling me. <laughs> that certainly did not sell me on, you know what? I need to buy this shit for myself. Yeah, it's gross. This was mine, because I, I got a collection of oils in my kit, um, and I just wanted to smell what Jesus smelled. And so I smelled frankincense. You know what Jesus smelled? He smelled goat shit. <laughs> Fucking manure and hay. He was born in a major. I wanted to smell what Jesus smelled. You smell what Jesus has smelled every single day, okay? He lived in the same planet as we did. Have you ever been to a manger? <laughs> Have you ever been to a farm? That's what Jesus smelled. And excuse me, like this was 2000 years ago. Like it's, there wasn't much to smell in those days. It was probably smelled like dirt, shit, <laughs> dirt and shit and poop, which is also shit and animals all day, every day. That's what they all smelled. They all smelled like that. Everything smelled like that. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't there. First. Um, but the reason why you diffuse, of course, is to help to just keep your air fresh and clean. And it's way better than using candles and plug-ins yep. and all the other stuff. So and who? So all the you know what's funny, too, is that, like, essential, like, for example, and I, I know nothing about 
candle making. I will read that super chat in a second. Um, but like, I I always use the ones from Bath and Body Works, and it's literally like scented with essential oils. Oh, but it's not Young Living, so then it's a bad candle. Bad candle, not <laughs> not Young Living candle is bad candle. It's like, dude. Anyway, Cloud Town, look at you, five doll hairs. Welcome to that oil show huff and puff segment where we get high and imprint smell in the name of Donald Gary Young, our quack and savior. Now that was a good super chat. Su super chat, words, English. Also, special for you, Clown Town. It's so funny because I was watching DC's live um, and then I like went to start doing my makeup and stuff and um, they DC redirected to you guys. And so... Like, I was talking to my husband, and all of a sudden, I hear, like, screeching. <laughs> and I was like, I literally, like, because I was in my bathroom, and you guys were on my TV. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I look, and it's just you guys. I was like, oh, that's Clown Town. And then I told my husband, I was like, oh, oh, they're the ones, <laughs> they're the ones whose mom works at Disneyland. Hey! <laughs> so we had a moment there. We had a Clown Town moment, and then I heard you guys um, say that you were going to be here. Uh, I didn't respond in the chat because I was putting makeup on my face, but I heard, I heard you, I heard you talking about me. <laughs> so thank you. Also your favorite sociopath, five doll hairs. This is my last super chat. You're being moved to the tiny TV so I can play Skyrim on the big TV. Y'all be good in the chat. I'm watching you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> clown town i'm so i'm i'm just glad you guys are here but that was so funny <laughs> um yeah and my mom says thank you for supporting her daughter which is me i appreciate i appreciate it my mom appreciates it thank you everyone who sent in a super chat and a super sticker and uh, renewed memberships and everything uh, i r really appreciate it i also just noticed that my fat kitty is just like sleeping on the floor over here with her belly up i want to rub it but i can't my I forgot to charge my headphones, so, like, I can't really move. I could pro well, I could probably unplug them now. Anyway. Toxic, toxic chemicals. <laughs> exactly. We good. We're we good. replacing those toxic chemicals. I'm going to go pet my cat. So that we can breathe in good, um, you know, good things that God made, the plants that God made. Okay, I rubbed um, her belly. Another thing, too, is, like, I, once I finally got a diffuser, I would move it around to the different parts mm -hmm. of the house, and I quickly realized I needed another diffuser. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, because then some of the kids needed a diffuser. Um, no child ever better, needs so any love diffuser. MLM, no, two dollars, thank you, taking over your favorite sociopath. Thank you for the super chat, I appreciate it. Um, diffusers in the bedrooms, and so over time, um, I added it to my Christmas wish list, my birthday wish list, and I just added to my collection. And so now everybody has their diffusers, but they're also important for helping you to focus when you study. Um, you know, the no, kids will no, I know I'm pausing this a lot. I am so fucking sorry. Um, however, so I went, like I told you guys, I like bought my own diffuser or whatever with for essential oils. Um, and my intention was because I was working from home. This was like right when like COVID started. I had like. I was downstairs in, like, an office area. Well, another room, but, like, I had just an office. It's Griffin's room now. But um, at the time, uh, it was just an office, a little office space. And my intention was, since I was going to be working from home, um, I was just going to have a diffuser going because, yeah, like, oh, well, aromatherapy says that, like, there are certain smells that can help you focus and blah, blah, blah. I tried it for one day never did it again it was so overwhelming even on the lowest setting pippi's on my lap again by the way um it was awful like for these people to be like oh yeah our our oils will help you focus no all it did was give me a headache well oh, you didn't use young living oils they're all the same shut the fuck up anyway <laughs> yeah it was awful so i mean maybe you know there are probably I, i'll admit there are, like, for example, like, autistic kids and stuff, like, do really well with scents. Um, so I, I understand that there are, like, essential oil, like, uses for essential oils and stuff um, that actually do help people. But for just your average person who's just like, I just want things to smell good. No, you can't run around and be like, oh, yeah, it's going to help you focus. It's going to help you do all the... No, it gave me a headache and I wanted to die. So, 
We'll have, we'll have. MK, thank you for renewing your membership. When we're studying. So there's so many wonderful benefits to breathing in um, our oils. When I come home from a trip, my family, right before they know I'm coming home, they go through the whole entire house and turn on all the diffusers. That's my welcome home. Aww. So oh, I just got home from a... So what you're telling me is that when you're gone, they don't diffuse anything? Hmm. Hmm, so it's almost like you're like forcing this on your family. That's cute. Oh, sorry. Shall we? That's a really cute look. Yeah, really healthy. Long <laughs> trip to California and back and I got home and all the diffuse, Aww. I just walked in the door, it's like, I'm home. The oils just <laughs> welcome me home. So it was and that's awesome. what people feel when they come into our yes, homes. For yeah. sure. I'm sure they feel a migraine coming on is more so what it is. So sh shut up. Have you all, has yeah, anybody I've, had? I've had that several times because mm -hmm. people come to me for massage. And so one part of my house is for my massage therapy. And every single time people are like, your house smells so good. What is it? And I'm like, the oils. So I have one right when people come in. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, in the massage room. But people get it right at the beginning. And what I like to do, I don't know about you guys, but... I like to do kind of like a wake me up oil um, at the very, you know, when people walk MLM, in. No, thank you. My licensed aromatherapist will lose her license if she associates with Young Living or doTERRA because of the dangerous practices and misinformation as well. Really? Is that a, that's a thing? Like, that sounds wild. Like, there's got to be more to it than that, right? Like a licensed aromatherapist, like if they start using an MLM's products, they just get their license taken away? That doesn't sound right. There's got to be more to it than that. But still, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I appreciate it. Of course, kind of like a sleepy, calm type oil in my room. So I do that even with the kids. So in their room, they usually, you know, during the day, they'll diffuse something that's more bright, even peppermint, mm -hmm. to keep them focused when they're mm -hmm. doing their schooling. And then at night, of course, diffuse very calm, peace and calming, yeah. um, even lavender, so, yeah. Well, and I can tell you, in the beginning, I was diffusing thieves all the time. I mean, who, who doesn't diffuse <laughs> yeah. thieves right. 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 ever? But it was always happening at my house. Her and house smelled like shit. the funny thing was, is that I, we got used to the smell. We didn't recognize, and mm -hmm. I would, it was always going at some, at some form or fashion. And um, there were some friends that we went to Bible study with, and when they got their first box of oils, and her little girl opened the thieves. She goes, it smells like Miss Laura. <laughs> and so I was just, because I- So she smells like shit home. all the time too? <laughs> that was her being nice. Oh, it smells like Miss Laura. Not, it smells so good. It smells like flowers. It smells like, uh, no. Oh, it smells like you. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to be associated with the scent of thieves. I was, the experience was, I was, taking I was a human diffuser at that yeah. point because I was taking thieves with me and so it just she was a human diffuser that's disgusting that because and, and it, I wasn't putting thieves on topically I was just diffusing it okay wow that was really loud I'm sorry guys like I'm telling you like I have it turned up all the fucking way because you couldn't hear that shit and now this science bullshit uh, let me turn it down before we press play again I was gonna say something I forgot. Okay. Science. Science. Okay. There hey, Talia. Go. Why did King Tut's tomb smell so good? Why? Is this cultural appropriation? <laughs> These bitches. Because the frankincense made it a century old masterpiece. I'm Wendy. And I'm Talia. And this is, is the, the science, science highlight. <laughs> I hate it. Now, corny jokes aside, an ointment of frankincense, spikenard, and coconut oil really was found in Tutankhamun's tomb, which means essential oils have been used for at least 3,300 years in history. Hardly makes them a fad now, right? If you're digging in to learn about these ancient wonders, let us help you clarify a few important things to know. What really is an essential oil? Well, essential It's plant juice. That's it. <laughs> oils are the aromatic, volatile liquids distilled from shrubs, flowers, trees, roots, and bushes. Volatile liquids usually fall under 300 AMUs, or atomic mass units. This means the molecules are teeny tiny, so much so that they're lighter than air, and so small they magically cross the blood-brain barrier when inhaled. 
Not much will cross the blood brain barrier, but essential oils do. When we inhale essential Okay, where are my scientists at? Um, I'm sure that there are like some substances that do from essential oils, but I can't imagine you, that you could say that every single essential oil from every single plant has like the same well i mean i guess the molecules would be like the same so i don't know i don't know a molecule is a molecule right <laughs> are, are there big molecules and small molecules is that a thing <laughs> i thought molecules were just molecules but <laughs> the oils they are delivered via the lungs to our bloodstream that's the science of aromatherapy so why would we want them to be in our bloodstream well essential oils are full of life-giving constituents these constituents are delicate, aromatic compounds that have influence on our body, mind, and spirit. <laughs> Alaskan veal tundra said meningitis cross the blood-brain barrier. <laughs> oh, so what you're telling me is when things cross the blood-brain barrier, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. Oh. Uh, all right, we got people in the chat saying this is a blatant lies. Um, Jesus Christ, crossing the blood-brain barrier, what the fuck? I want to see citations. Oh, there are different sizes of molecules? Okay. All right. <laughs> what do I know? Okay, well, then if that's the case, then wouldn't you be able to say that every plant produces a different size molecule? So how can you say, oh, they're all so small that they cross into the blood-brain barrier or whatever the fuck? Like, I, I'm obviously not a scientist or, you know, a biologist or anything like that. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But, oh, hi, DC! Hello! Um, <laughs> I feel so wrong cosplaying as a scientist. That's what these people are fucking doing, dude. Um, so pop. <laughs> Stop it. Um, I'd be worried about the stuff getting into the brain. Right. And like, what I don't understand, you guys, is that like, it is very well known that people, human beings, and also animals, but let's just, let's just say humans for now. Um, we are, it is well known that it's a very com. like, plants are a very common allergy. Like, seasonal allergies. Like, don't talk about it like it's something that just, oh, it's a rare condition. That, no, like, so many people are allergic to plants and so many different things. And it's like, how can they sit here and then be like, Oh, but, like, no, they're not harmful to anyone at all. You know, these essential oils, are like, everyone can use them. No, they fucking can't, dude. There are so many people who have allergens. Or who have allergens. Who have allergies. <laughs> like, these essential oils are made out of plants. They're, like, common fucking allergens for these, for a lot of people. Uh, that's just what I don't get, dude. Like, it's just, it's common fucking knowledge, right? Yeah, don't get us started on pollen. Maybe it's just because... I, I, I'm a desert girly, and so this time of year is terrible for pollen. Like, it's just so dry here, and, like, yeah, my allergies every single day is just, like, terrible right now because the pollen's everywhere, and you know what smells great outside? It smells like honeysuckle and beauty, but <laughs> but it don't do good things for my allergies. No, it do not. So please, people, please. Yeah, allergies right now, like it's bad allergy season right now. Essential oils can contain hundreds of different chemical compounds. And food allergies, each yeah. Each with a particular affinity to a specific body system. Many affect multiple systems. No. Since different oils. According to who? Gary Young? Is Gary Young the one who told you that? I don't fucking think so. Mm -mm. That was like scientifically, well, I need to stop doing that. That's scientifically not true. I hate these people. <laughs> oils support different body systems. If your body is struggling in any area, identify the body system that's affected and then find the essential oil that supports that body system. This gives your body tools to strengthen and balance itself out. Essential oils really do sound essential for supporting and maintaining our bodies and our health. So, Except it's not. Why are you a modern pharaoh? It's called essential oils because it's the essence of a plant not because it's essential to your health like the, I, ugh, these fucking people and it sucks because like that word essential has like dual meanings but like they apply both meanings to the one word and it's like that's just that's dishonest
or just an enthusiast seeking to support the health of your family, take a page from King Tut's scented playbook and let the fragrant ancient treasures guide your path. No, King Tut would be turning in his tomb <laughs> at you fucking people using his name for this shit. Hi everybody, I'm Beverly Carter and I am a farm junkie. This is so loud, what the fuck? Whoever their new uh, editor is needs to knock it off. Okay, I have this turned down a little bit. Um, Hey, new farm junkie on set here. What's this lady's name? Beverly? Is this one Beverly? I don't know, but the other lady... Christina? <laughs> I'm like making up names, I don't fucking know. It used to be her, now it's this lady. And I am here at the Highland Flats Farm in Naples. Ah, Beverly! Hey, I'm remembering finally. We've watched how many episodes of this? I don't remember the other girl's name, though. <laughs> I know her face. Idaho with the farm manager, Idaho Michael Carter. No relation <laughs> that we know of, right? Um, we are Ew. here. I wanted to ask Michael. Michael, explain to us the farm experience, because I want everybody to come and have a great time like I've had. Sure, Beverly. Well, for, for all y'all watching, the farm experience is basically an opportunity that we give to everyone to come experience our farm. And when you come to our farm, you're going to, first you're gonna connect with all of the people. It looks like a lot of grass. <laughs> Where's all the frankincense? Behind the essential oil, and you're gonna meet all of them and they're gonna be like family. And then you're gonna understand it's like a fucking trailer and a bunch of fucking grass. Ooh, cool farm, guys. And the standards and the processes that set you young living apart from other essential oils and what makes our oil so unique. Prove it. You're also going to connect with the plants and the place behind our essential oils. And I guarantee that when you leave, you will forever change the way that you experience. And what kind of trees are those? Are those those like juniper ones? Because I know, oh, no, Idaho blue spruce or something, right? Because I know that's an essential oil they, post, they push a lot. Are those spruce trees? I don't know. <laughs> I never leave my house. And appreciate it's a potato farm. Absolutely. <laughs> potato Absolutely. essential that's oil. I felt. Because we got to go out and cut down the branches of the grand fir. We brought them. We chipped them out there. And we brought them back in here. We put them in the distillery. And then we distilled it. And we got to take home a little bottle of the oil that I will treasure forever. It was amazing. So I want you all to come. Because this is amazing. Michael's been amazing. All He's right. All the if I showed up, I'd be escorted out just like Courtney at <laughs> Jesse Lee's funeral. <gasps> Beth, thank you for the two doll hairs. Audio normalization is not mentioned in the Bible. <laughs> No, silly, none of them could hear during biblical times. No one had any hearing at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> Thank Everybody you. that works here has been so much fun. And I want to know, are you a farm jerky? Have you been to farms? Do you have pictures or videos? Because if you do, we want to see them. So email them. Any farm? <laughs> what if I go to like Shamrock's farm, Shamrock Farms and be like, what about this? I went, I milked a cow. Is this what you're talking about? Um, to info at thatoilshow.com. Thank you, Michael. This has been fun. Thanks, Beverly. Bye. One of our oils that we love to make And now they're so quiet again. Is um, purification. purification. Jesus. And so um, I've had people say, hey, when I smelled purification, it smelled like your house. Aww. And so, but, but yeah, that's a really great one that we can use to, um, like if you make some fish, you know, cook some fish or something, um, or there's just, uh, some stinky teenagers. So, uh, like my boys, when they come in from their workouts, <laughs> even this morning, it was like, mm -mm, let's get the diffuser started. We have to. But Don't you already have the diffusers going? Let's be honest. What she probably does is start like dashing them with essential oils. Just ch -ch -ch -ch. no child, you stink. <laughs> no body odor in this house. <laughs> we all just smell like thieves, which is stinky also. Purification is amazing mm -hmm. because it just neutralizes. Like, have these people never heard of Febreze? <laughs> like, if your house smells like fish, use Febreze. It'll Febreze. Oh my God, Febreze. It'll help. It'll fix it right away. And then for body odor, you know, there's this thing called deodorant. Um, also, cologne. 
<laughs> which some perfumes and colognes like use essential oils in them too so you guys should be loving that shit just yeah, shower and put clean stuff. clothes on exactly dc what the fuck <laughs> but anyway I love to do all the citrus ones in my home just all the time because I feel like it's bright and cheery and uplifting. And I've had people comment just like, I don't fucking know, so guys. Happy. I'm sorry. You know, it's like a, the happy feeling. It's a very welcoming um, aroma, but it's also very neutral. Like, I don't know anybody who doesn't love lemon or grapefruit yeah. or lime. They think orange. Febreze is poison, it's yeah. Clean, yeah. But it's also not, um, it's familiar. It's familiar mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. you know, because we yeah. eat those fruits all the time. And so, mm -hmm. It makes people feel it's very comforting. Mm -hmm. Those and and they're inexpensive. There's nothing comforting about a fucking migraine and an allergy attack. Eat my butt. So it's easy to do. <laughs> you don't feel like you're having to count your drops mm -hmm. all the time. <laughs> oh, that's very. True. I tend to add lemon to everything because mm -hmm. it it is more economical. Now lemon or lemon essential oil. I think she's probably talking about the the essential oil. We don't do like actual fruit actual lemons here no 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 only the oil <laughs> an oil because it's not as expensive yep. and so if i'm putting an expensive blend in i'll like add in lemon to it so that way it's extra oil but without look dc she has a microphone there's a lapel mic right there you see it i see it it's just their editor doesn't know what audio balancing is <laughs> You know those little bars when you're editing? They just like turn those off. They don't even pay attention. <laughs> oh, it's bright red here and like down at the very bottom in the green here. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't mean anything. Uh. <laughs> Is there an essential oil for that? Is there an essential oil to uh, <laughs> help with audio balance? <laughs> Extra cost. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. There you go. And I can tell you. When you've been to did they forget to turn them on? True, maybe. Places. We when we moved and we're looking for a home a few years ago, I wished everyone would diffuse right. lemon because right. like realtors diffuse lemon yes. in the homes oh where you're yes. diffuse something that's clean and fresh because that chemical smell mm -hmm. is so overwhelming yeah. when you walk into right. a lot of people's yeah. homes. And it's just, it's, it's <laughs> MLM. No, what oil do you use to turn the mics on? Is it on back order? <laughs> They're like, I don't know how to do this without my frankincense. Ah! <laughs> Where's the button? I can't. What's what's the oil they use for focus? I don't know. Probably a bazillion. Um, a blend of many. Uh, if I don't have my blend, I don't know where the button, the on button is. I don't know what technology is. <laughs> it's almost abrasive. Yes. I have a Try lot of rejuvenate. No. classes that I teach in my home and people come in that, that have not met before and, and their comments so many times um, people say, I, I feel like I can breathe better in your house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I you feel know. like my lungs are open. I feel mm -hmm. so at more at peace in your home. Somehow these people have just like managed to invite people into their home who don't have allergies, <laughs> who have never had a migraine in their life. They've just gotten lucky, I think. Like... Or, listen, there has to have been, in all of these people's lives, <coughs> excuse me, whoa. <laughs> I was, like, trying to stifle that burp. I knew it was coming, and it just came out anyway. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. There has to have been a time in all of these people's fucking lives where someone walked into their house and started sneezing or something. Do they just, like, shut that out of their memory? They're just like... That never happened, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> Epic E, thank you for the five doll hairs. How much you want to bet she doesn't let her boys use deodorant? Certainly not any with aluminum. They probably just put <laughs> thieves. They use thieves spray, thieves body spray. <laughs> Pro I mean, like I say that like a joke, but I, I would guarantee there's probably an essential oil that these people are putting under their armpits, let's be honest. Fucking ridiculous. Thank you for the super chat, though. I appreciate it. Can you re diffuse rejuvenique oil? Baby, you can diffuse anything. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could. Rejuvenique oil is just a blend of essential oils and then, like, a carrier oil or something. Um, and literally all you'd have to do is put drops. Like, I wonder. <laughs> Your hair just starts falling out. <laughs> you start diff uh, diffusing rejuvenique and it's just... Oh, suddenly I'm bald. The newt nest. Thank you. She definitely asked guests, do your lungs feel open? <laughs> Can you fucking imagine? Oh my God, there was gifted memberships. We'll play the Pop-Tart song in a second. Can you imagine 
every time a new person w walks into your home, you're just standing there like, just waiting. So? <laughs> and they're like, <coughs> what? <coughs> Achoo! What? Why are you looking at me like that? She's like, how are your lungs feeling? Like, it's so weird, dude. <laughs> Emily, thank you for renewing your membership. Also, welcome. All right. We had some gifted memberships. Who who, who did that? <laughs> Soul Stixia. Thank you for gifting 20 memberships. You're the real MVP. And you know what song we play for the real MVPs. It's a pop dark party right now. Thank you. I don't know if you guys heard that, but like right before I pressed the Pop Tart song button, Sparrow's like, play the Pop Tart song. <laughs> she knows. She couldn't hear it though. It's in my headphone. She'll hear it another time. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Look at all those Pop Tarts in the chat. Emily Jones, you put bears in the chat? You're supposed to put Pop Tarts in the chat! Are you new here? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Love you. Um, yeah, Emily, you guys remember the, uh, the paparazzi song? that I played for you guys earlier. Um, better than the Papa Shuffle. Um, yeah, Emily uh, was helping me uh, find uh, the paparazzi bling song, the all about that bling, that song. Uh, and then that's how we ended up finding the other song, the terrible one in the rest of the album. So thank you, Emily, for your contribution. Um, also, Emily is recovering from surgery. Um, so everyone send the wellest of well wishes to her because she actually listened to her doctor. She got diagnosed with cancer, which is very, very sad. However, she's doing great. She went through with uh, surgery. And uh, I think we're all expecting a full recovery. So, uh, Emily, we're all thinking of you sending you tots and pears. Uh, thank you for your contribution to the stream and to my life. <laughs> And, but that's, you know, that's what our oils do for us. My favorite reaction, real quick. Um, I have a diffuser in my car. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure you I do. got pulled over one time. And <laughs> oh no. And no. then comes to the window. <laughs> She's like diffusing in like her whole car. Like, <laughs> she probably like rolls down the window and all this like diffused mist just comes pouring out. And the cops are like, <laughs> what you doing? And then they get hit in the face with thieves smell and then they're like <laughs> and then they have a uh they go into anaphylactic shock because they're really really allergic to frankincense <laughs> and then that's how i got out of a ticket is that the story she's about to tell cute and i roll down the window and he does this no kidding he goes <sighs> oh no he gosh. did not no he did not also hi thank you for the uh f the super chat the 499 says you're so goaded now when you say goat <laughs> Do you mean greatest of all time? Or, because I've been watching a lot of Survivor, they they talk about, they use the term goat to describe the person that they bring to the end so that they win. The person that they're like, oh, no, this person won't win so that everyone else will be forced to vote for me. Basically, like, uh, someone who does nothing. <laughs> so, kind of the opposite of goat. So, like, was that a compliment? Am I the greatest of all time? Or am I just a big fat nothing burger? Also, Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat. What do our oils do for us? Yikesies. <laughs> you know, they claim that their oils do a lot of things that they don't do. Also, Solstixia, thank you again for the gifted memberships, guys. It's a pop dark party right now. Thank you very much, Solstixia. I appreciate it. And look at all those Pop-Tarts. Look at them all. Everyone's got a Pop-Tart. You get a Pop-Tart. You get a Pop-Tart. Congratulations to everyone who got... Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> <coughs> I have my window open and it's, you know, springtime in Arizona. What am I doing? I'm like, allergies? Ugh. I also Your live in a zoo. car smells amazing. <laughs> I only got a warning, guys. Hey, hey, hey. You got a warning? I think the cop died from anaphylactic shock. 
Just saying. Just saying. Were, you, were you diffusing conversation? Beth, thank you for reminding people, please lick the stream. I appreciate it. And if licking the stream doesn't do it for you, then just press the like button. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually Lynn thank you for the blessing. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Was, was he single? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to go there. Right. No, I wasn't asking for me. Uh, no. <laughs> yes, for her. For her. I was gonna say. Wait a minute. Wasn't she the one who was saying earlier, like, when I I go out of town and then when I come back, like, I thought she said like my husband turns on the diffusers and blah blah blah. So is she not married? I'm I'm confused. Maybe I just misheard her. It creates an atmosphere. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so even even when you wear them on your body, you become yeah. a diffuser. Yeah. Human um, you're a human diffuser, diffuser mm -hmm. and you bring your atmosphere with you. Yes. That's right. um, so your atmosphere in your car, right. your atmosphere in your home, your atmosphere in your bedroom. Mm. Or Solstixia is in Argentina. She says it's a rough place, so I'm glad I can use your content as an escape. Thank you for everything. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know there's some wild shit going on in Argentina. I was uh, talking to someone from Argentina not too long ago and I heard that you guys have like a new president or something who's fucking batshit insane. Isn't he like a wrestler or something? <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Something's weird over there. Um, I ended up looking it up, but I don't remember any of it now. I just know that shit's crazy over there. So just take care of yourself. Or your living room or your kitchen. All these rooms have different vibes to yeah. them. You know, my kitchen tends to be more yeah. lively, but my bedroom, I want it to be more calm and so I put different things in different the Argentine president talks to his dead dog well who doesn't right <laughs> ones but it creates an atmosphere right. um, of wherever you are and mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. people when you go somewhere and people like you were saying Laura I, people ask me all the time what are you wearing and I'm yeah. like I have no idea. What, what, am, I, what am I not wearing? What do I say every time? What am I not wearing? Like, it's a combination <laughs> of everything that I use well, but it is it's it yeah it emanates, mm -hmm. you know. Can I add one little? Yeah. Okay, so I was working out, haven't been in a while, don't judge, but I was working out and we were doing, can I say the name? I don't know. Anyways, it was an outdoor workout. Sweat. I mean, <laughs> real sweat, y'all. And I, the second time that I worked out, because the first time I didn't know I was going to Is she about to say she basically just sweats essential oils? <laughs> because I believe it at this point, these people, they are practically, they are probably more essential oil than they are human. Apathetic Minx, thank you for joining the memberships. I appreciate it. Sweat that much. Second time, I was like, I am clothing myself with oils before I go. And this is before the sun comes out. So it's just, it's major workout. Well, the trainer, I'm running past because we're doing these like loops and then push ups and then like loops around. It's crazy. That sounds and awful. He's like, You smell good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Yes. Yes, score, because I'm telling you, the first day was horrible. But I'm so what happens is, for me, I when I put them on so much, I actually start to sweat the smell of the oil. Yeah. You're literally just, like, sweating essential oils. Neurotic nitwit, thank you for the super chat. I shall henceforth be referred to as a human diffuser. No, 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 don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. See, the, the road to becoming a human diffuser is a very dangerous one that I don't recommend anyone go on. These people, like, do you, really, do you want to end up like these people? Is that what you're trying to do to yourself? Don't do it. <laughs> Thank you for the it super chat. great. Bye, Clown Town. Hello, everyone, and welcome to From Scratch. And they make an essential oil juice today. I'm not seeing any cooking going on here. So what are we doing? We're just putting essential oils in water. <laughs> we already know you guys do that. And I'm really excited to have Amanda here. Hey, yes. Amanda. Hello. All right, so we're gonna talk today about taking our Young Living essential oils that internally and using them internally. Um, we have so many oils that taste amazing. Amazing. Just a little bit in some water. Um, it's a really great way. It's a Dude, usually they have some kind of like recipes and shit they're cooking. And this time they're like, we're going to be putting essential oils in water. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. How'd you come up with that idea? It's very refreshing. It's a great way to support your immune system. Um, there's just so many sure. wonderful benefits we have with our oils. 
um, I learned a long time ago, one of the best things you can do first thing in the morning is drink a big old glass of water with some of our Young Living Lemon mm. Vitality Drops in it. Or, here's an idea, lemon juice. <laughs> Lem slice up a little lemon wedge, give it a squirt into your water. It's probably better for you than whatever the fuck they think they're doing here. It's just wild to me. Like, why are you going through all this extra shit to get lemon into your water? Just put a lemon in your water. You know that they sell lemon juice in a bottle. If, you, if you're too lazy to slice up a lemon and put it in your water, they just sell bottles of lemon juice, lime juice. Put on a little dash of that. Why are you spending, uh, first of all, spending so much more for these stupid fucking oils and, like, going through the process of, like, eliminating parts of the lemon <laughs> and just putting in this essential oil? It's just stupid. It is just so stupid. I can't. Why do they think it's okay to eat them, Monica? Well, I'll tell you why. Because of Gary Young. Gary Young said they could. And if Gary Young says it, then they all believe it. So that's it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And it, it is cheaper so to buy a lemon, Emily, you're Super right. Easy. I always yep. start with a couple of drops. Um, I, I just start with a couple of drops in my water and really... Okay, the other thing is too, is that like oil and water don't mix. This is what... My dogs are like fighting. This is what I've never understood about how they do this. Um, like I could get it because, okay, for example... Like I was telling you guys earlier, my sister-in-law used to be with Young Living. There was one time where we went to her house for something, and, and then we were all going somewhere. So on our way out of the house, she, like, filled up her water bottle and did this. Um, I don't remember if it was – I don't know if it was lemon. It might have been orange essential oil or something. It was one of their Vitality oils. Starts putting drops of it in her water bottle before we walk out the door. I'm just like, all right, whatever. Let her do it. <laughs> That's fine. Um – that makes sense as far as like flavor distribution goes it makes sense to me because you can shake up a water bottle you know but you can't shake up this this is i mean unless you put a lid on it i get like isn't it isn't the oil just gonna sit on top and then you're just gonna take a swig and it's just gonna be straight oil like what what are you people doing also baby pink pearl thank you for being a member for 13 months so they're gonna drink the water and just get an oily film on their lips exactly that's what i'm saying i'm like it just wouldn't it just sit on top of the water like if you shake it up first and drink it right away like sure there's gonna be a more even distribution of flavor but in like a cup like this it's just gonna sit on top unless you're stirring it around or something like <laughs> what are you doing yeah it'll just be on top i don't get it that's so weird a swig of straight oil sounds awful yeah it does that's about all it is that's all you do, all you do. um i'll stir it up some i'll put some ice in there but um, it's a wonderful way again to get your oils internally guys are you seeing this shit I was about to point at the screen like you're going to fucking see what I'm pointing at. Are you seeing this shit? They have sliced up lemons, limes, oranges. Ugh, my nose is running because I'm having an allergy attack from keeping my window open. Um, They have the fruits right there. They're sliced up. They're right there. For what? Are they just going to throw them away after? Do you guys eat those? Like, oh, you have them in your house, so why? Pray tell. Are you putting essential oils in your drinks instead of squeezing the actual fucking fruit into your water? The fuck are you doing? Use the real lemon exactly, Monica. Thank you. What are you doing? It's right there. It's fucking right there. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna die from frustration. Rest in peace. Do not, for the love of the flying spaghetti monster, do not ingest essential oils. Thank you, Tanya. Yeah, see, that's the other thing, too. Like, I can imagine that, like, well, for example, another, uh, an essential oil hack that these people like to say, and it actually does work. I've done this before for myself and for my daughter back when she used to let me put um, elastic bands in her hair. Um, 
lemon essential oil, if you put it on the pla the stretchy elastic band, it'll break it. It like breaks down the plastic and it snaps and it's like really easy to get out of your hair. And these people are just like ingesting drops of it. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Doesn't seem safe. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> fucking wild and meanwhile they just have the fruit right there i just i can't need to get the health benefits oh yeah essential oil has or essential oil young living has their own mio drops those are those are those right there that's not real mio those are those are young living's brand of mio <laughs> they have such as supporting your immune system i know first thing in the morning too um our bodies are just wanting to just shed toxins right. and everything and so the lemon in the water. I don't think, I don't think that's what our bodies do in the morning. Like you would think if our bodies are shedding toxins, whatever the fuck that means, you would think that it would like do that while you're sleeping, not when you wake up. <laughs> but what do I know? <laughs> My brain is breaking. Same. Um, has a lot of wonderful benefits with helping us with detoxing yes. and there's mm -hmm. really good stuff like delimonene in there. Mm -hmm. So anyway, mm -hmm. that's the simplest way to take your oils internally. Um, another thing I did want to show everybody, some of y'all may be very brand new in Young Living, um, and I just wanted to introduce to you some some more products that are outside oh, of the starter kit. Because that's really going to help your paycheck if you introduce them to more useless fucking products, right? Great job. That you got. Um, Young Living has these drops. They're called uh, the wild, wild Vitality Drops. Amazing. And they're so young. Oh, hey, you seven, her three <laughs> said, uh, that's why you have to pee. That makes sense. Yeah. Pee is like getting rid of your body's waste. So yeah, while you're sleeping, your body gets rid of waste, puts it in your bladder, and you wake up and pee. But, like, the actual toxin shedding is happening while you're sleep. What is she talking about? What is she fucking talking about? Yummy. Yeah, this Delicious. one is grapefruit bergamot. My favorite. And it has <laughs> electrolytes in it. Um, and so this is going to really be very refreshing during your workouts. Yes. I love... You know what else has electrolytes? Fucking Gatorade, dude. And it's a lot cheaper. I'm gonna, this is my favorite, so I'm going to use this one. I'm going to squirt this right in here. And... Okay, so the directions say to squirt, like a squirt. And I think that's relative to the strength of your hand or something. Because, I, yeah, yeah, I have done it before where it's like, ooh, this is sweet. Yeah. So it's almost just a little tiny squirt. They get deep. Yeah. I, I know people that have used half the bottle in a glass <laughs> at their first time, and it was overpowering. Dad <laughs> your dad did Have these people never fucking used Mio? <laughs> like... Hello, I think those bottles, like the shape and the, you know, they're all the same. Like, I think it's a widely recognizable bottle at this point. So like, who would see that and be like, oh yeah, my water definitely needs half of this fucking bottle. You don't do that with Mio. Why would you do it with these? That, totally. okay. Totally. I've heard so many stories. Maybe that was one of the stories I heard. But anyway, it's very simple. You just squirt. <laughs> we can stir it. I have a little stir here. Um, and it is so refreshing. This is helpful for anyone that doesn't like the taste of water. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that just don't like to drink water. Right. Um, and that's okay. And this is a way that you can get it. So it's so good. I'm going to taste it. Is it is really good. My favorite. And actually, I would do a little more. Okay. So you saw my squirt. I'm going to squirt a little more. There we go. I'd rather not ever see your squirt, ma'am. Oh. That, that, that's pretty good. And I would also put some ice in it. Um, Young Living has different Vitality Drops. This one here is the, y of, uh, the Vitality um, Drops plus Energy. So it has a little bit of some white tea, um, just a teeny mm -hmm. bit of natural, naturally occurring caffeine. And so this is great for a pick-me-up. This one is Jade Lemon Berry. It's amazing, it's so yummy. So they have, <laughs> about four different options and you can I'm gonna look up the price of one of these because listen I I don't have any doubts that 
what they just showed us, like, if, if she's like, yeah, it tastes yummy, like, I don't doubt that. My child. Um, I don't doubt that they taste good, like, that's the point. Like, it's supposed to make water taste better. Um, let me see. What did, what did she say these were called? Young Living Vitality Drops? Let me just tell you how much one of these is. You're fucking kidding me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. No. You guys are going to shit your pants. So you can get these in a four pack. I don't know if you can buy them individually. I'm just seeing them in a four pack. $52.96 for four of these. Yeah. Epic E, thank you for the super chat. Dead serious here. Have they been drinking? The way they're speaking is odd. No, baby. They are just high on essential oils. <laughs> the essential oils have uh, essentially uh, crossed the blood brain barrier <laughs> and and caused a behavior change. <laughs> that's why that's why they're all like this. Oh, wasn't there one time where I slowed them down? You guys were laughing. You want to hear them sound like they've been drinking. Let me hit you with this. Can add more oils <laughs> into that. If I use the jade lemon berry, I might. <laughs> Was that jade lemon or lime? <laughs> yeah, uh, jade lemon. Oh my God, I swear we're at a bar. <laughs> We are at a bar right now and listening in on two drunk girls' conversations. Uh, anyway, back to normal speed. Um, that's that's fucking funny. Thank you for the <laughs> super chat, Epic E. I appreciate it. Yeah, it looks. But there's lime. I know. There. Oh, it's there Jade must Lemon. Be lime. Yeah, but it's Jade yeah, Lemon. Yeah, yeah. Jade Lemon is a thing. I'm Sorry, gonna see yeah. if you yes. can buy these <laughs> okay. individually. I guess. Thank you, Young Living. Yes. And I didn't bring it out here to show y'all. It tastes so yummy. It's like a combination of lemon lime. lime. Yep. Anyway, it's amazing. Oh, so you can oh, boost the flavor wait. with some more. Okay, so you can get a three pack for $39.80. Three of those bottles for nearly $40. Um, oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze again. Uh, I'm allergic to bullshit. Um, oh, wait. See, there's a listing on here that doesn't say it's a three pack, but maybe they just forgot to put it on there that also says it's $40. Um, how many does this come? Oh, it is a three pack. They just forgot to put it in the description. Yeah, I don't think you can buy these individually. But hey, just in case you didn't know, um, because for some reason when I search vitality drop, oh, because cough drops. Anyway, sorry. Um, you can get thieves cough drops, a package of cough drops, just like you would get like Halls or Ricola at Walmart. Um, like the same size package it looks like. $30.26 for some fucking cough drops. Y'all ready? They're $13 each. Are you serious? How much is one Mio? I'm gonna look it up. It can't be more than like two bucks at Walmart, right? Mio drops. Mio drops. Oh, maybe it's a little more than I expected. Um, About five bucks at Walmart. Yeah. You know, on Amazon for a little bit more than that. Excuse me. Whoa. I didn't know that was going to come out like that. I'm sorry. Um, H-E-B? What is that? I don't know. You can buy them for $3.10 each. Mio drops. But, oh no, sure. Let's just spend $13 each. Or oils if you'd like to. So, um, another way that we like to add oils um, with our beverages is when we're having gatherings. Yes. It's so fun. So, which is what... I thought she was going to say when we're having gas. <laughs> one of my favorites. I know it's one of your when favorites. When we're farting. And you're going to share with us a recipe. Yes. That, that was is loud, sorry. so yummy. <laughs> but before she does that, here's just something so simple that I have when I have a gathering um, to share Young Living with friends or family. We will all get together and I just take a big giant, um, you know. You poison your guests. Is that what you're talking about here? Wait, I just take a big giant water container and I put some essential oils in there <laughs> poisons everybody <laughs> you can get a pitcher or one of these containers like do not force do not force the shit on your guests dude are you serious because like these well obviously she 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 gave it a squirt into this 
glass of water and you can tell i mean it's still i mean i guess it's not clear it's kind of cloudy but it doesn't have a color to it or anything if you just put drops of essential oils and water in a big thing like that generally you're not gonna see like a color change or something so to someone who doesn't know are you letting them know that there's essential oils in this water is that i just i don't know i'm i'm pissed <laughs> of water and um you know fill it up with ice and then you can also put you know your fruit. but don't actually put the juice of the fruit in your water no 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 we don't want that it's only they're only for garnish the <laughs> the actual fruits they just they're just there to look pretty but we don't want to actually eat those no we only eat the essential oils <laughs> do these these people don't realize how freaking ridiculous they sound fruit so slices pretty. in there and it would look even more pretty with lots of ice but um i, I forgot yeah it looks really pretty also tastes pretty you don't need the essential oils what the fuck are you doing get a bag of ice <laughs> but we're gonna pretend. So, pretend so we're gonna pretend okay and so for a container like this i probably will do I don't know. um okay as she's doing this i'm just gonna say i will confirm that my mother rachel in the chat um does have great barbecue and beer at her house um so she's not lying <laughs> 10 to 20 drops of lemon i would just yeah or I say also or instead of using a whole bottle of fucking vitality oil you could get like i was talking about earlier you can get a bottle of lemon juice and just dump it <laughs> You want a light lemon flavor that's not going to fucking break the bank? Buy some lemon juice. You could also cut some lemons and just squeeze it <clears throat> in there. Sorry, I was drinking a carbonated drink, so Celsius. And uh, it's coming back up. Um, anyway, it's just th this whole thing is just so pointless and stupid. I just... Uh... So if you have any other fruit, I have done this before where I'm like, I did not pick up any fresh fruit, but I've done like frozen strawberries oh, oh, yes. and frozen cranberries and things like that, or fresh cranberries. So I would say whatever you have on hand, it's still going to look pretty. Just slice yeah. it up really nicely or just dump it in there with some lemon. I've done strawberries and like just all the I've cantaloupe base. one time. Somebody did oh, a really? cantaloupe. Yeah, I was like, okay. You could make cucumber water, cucumber water. and then add Perfect. in some do, a little pepper. You can do all this shit. You can do all of this shit without the essential oils. Mm -hmm. That would be really yummy. So there's so many things that you can do to make a really fun event. Okay, now we're gonna skip over to uh, the I'm so excited about this recipe. I hate these so people. Yummy. Okay, go for it. What okay, did, what did so you... I don't know how you like your drinks, but I like them a little fizzy. I like a little fizz. Um, so super simple, very easy. This will incorporate not only your, your oils, but also our oh, no. zing hydrating splash of energy drink. Um, I'll get you a price on these two. I haven't looked it up for a while but i remember it being just a stupid amount of money for like a 12 pack of those and i've also been told that they're disgusting so are we shocked no let me look up the price so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a whole can of zing all right so do you want to do this yes here? i'm gonna do it okay. right here let's do it right here and i don't know if it's gonna fit can you do me a favor i have fake nails on and they might <laughs> pop off <laughs> hey we keep it real right we here. keep it 12 pack for 52 dollars and 96 cents you ever paid 52 almost 53 dollars for a 12 pack of energy drinks listen i have i have amazon delivers a 12 pack of celsius to me every two weeks and it's like 20 bucks maybe i don't know how much i pay for that actually i should probably look that up but it's not a lot no it can't even be 20 bucks no i think it's less than that hold on i'll tell you what and celsius is some good shit Celsius, oh, wait, do I get a 24 pack? Celsius variety pack. What do I buy? <laughs> I think I get a 12 pack. Oh, yeah, about 20 bucks. Uh, oh, I'm subscribed. Eight, $18.98 for a 12 pack of um, variety pack. But no, let's just pay $53 instead. And it doesn't even taste good. <laughs> Real. 
Totally. Okay. Um, there you go. The press on ones. <laughs> Cheaper. Okay. I'm going to put this here. <laughs> she's got the press on. Na- well, I mean, I'm not hating because I do the press on nails too, but she's like, oh, no, they're cheaper. It's like, okay, so you're you're cutting corners at, at your fingernails because you got to be able to afford your fucking essential oils somehow. You'll splurge on hundreds of dollars, if not thousands of dollars a month that they're probably sp- spending on their Young Living Auto. What What do they call it? What's their rewards called? I don't remember. They have an award or rewards system. It's their auto ship or whatever. They're probably spending hundreds, if not over a thousand bucks a month. At this point, how much fucking essential oils these people use? I mean, it's easily over a few hundred bucks. At least. At least. But then, you know, to be able to afford that, gotta get the press on nails. Can't, can't go get a manicure. What are you talking about? How am I going to afford my essential oils? Fashion and. tips. And, yeah. Okay, so it's almost gone, but you're going to do a whole thing of zing. You're going to add just a little bit of mint, fresh mint, and one, just one big uh, leaf of basil. And then I'm just going to bruise the leaf. Sorry, in. I had that little pop up on there on accident. Um, bru- <laughs> bruise the leaf basil in an energy drink maybe i'd try it once wouldn't i mean probably not a young living energy drink with basil in it but maybe like possibly make it work what what was the first leaf she put in there mint totally get that it's like a mojito you know but basil and my mom she's in the chat she's gonna hate this because she hates floaties in her drinks (laughs) that's what she said can't do this the zing is that called muddling muddling it okay. all right so we're going to just do it just very gently it doesn't have to be crazy all right then here's what's so nuts you would never think at least i didn't ever think basil and lime would go together as well as it does but one drop of basil no i could see that this is a full drop y'all this is not a this is not a toothpick basil and vodka drink. really what? Okay, so let's see if I can do that. You're totally making a mocktail right now. Totally making a mocktail. Yeah, you are. You totally are. I don't, it's a botanical, so that means that it has like life in it. This is going to be two drops of this. Actually, I think I did three. Three drops. Of lime. Of lime. This is getting ridiculous. See, they already, the base of this mocktail that they're making right now is already, they're fucking, let me even tell you what's, what's in these zing, Niksha zings. Um, let's see. Lightly carbonated drink that combines, of course, their Ningxia Wolfberry pur- Puree, which, where? Like, it was, before she put all these other things in here, it was like a clear liquid, like, where are you putting Wolfberry in there? Anyway, um, pear and blackberry juice and essential oils. It doesn't say what kind of essential oils? Come on. What? Ingredients. Carbonated water. First ingredient. Standard. Um, Evaporated cane sugar. Sugar is the second ingredient. Cool. And then pear juice. No essential oils yet, but hey, wolfberry puree. That's the ningxia. Okay. Fourth ingredient is their ningxia. So far, I'm like, why are you paying this much money? When most of it is just fucking carbonated water. It's it's not worth it, dude. Okay, anyway. And then and then citric acid. Still haven't gotten to an essential oil yet. Blackberry juice concentrate, <laughs> natural flavor, white tea leaf extract. That's where they get the energy from. Still no essential oils, guys. Um, stevia. Uh, and then some other shit. Okay, and then the, the other shit is called niacinamide, whatever the fuck that is. And then, what was that, the ninth or the tenth? I don't know. Um, then you get black pepper fruit oil. I guess peppers are a fruit, huh? Um, yeah, their first essential oil they put in there is fucking black pepper oil. That sounds disgusting. Um, then there's already lime essential oil in it. She's putting more in it. Uh, and then some acetate, some shit. Oh, is that really it? Those are all the essential oils? Yeah, there's only two essential oils in this. So why the fuck are you paying so much? Why Why is a 12-pack of this $53? Where? Where is all that money going? This is a cash grab if I ever 
fucking heard it. Anyway, and, and you know, they can't, it can't be that much wolf berry puree in there. Look at the color of that. Look at the color of that. There's like, the, where, where, where's the money going? Stupid. Okay, but anyway, so, so they have, they already have a few essential oils in there already. Now she's just putting drops of more essential oils in there. I hate this. I hate this. Are you going to mix it up? Okay. And then oh, vitamin B3. Okay, thank you. Like a fancy cup. Okay, are we going to put ice in it? We're going to put ice. Yeah, it, pear juice is the, what, third ingredient? Is that what it was? Like, fuck. It's, it's juice. It's carbonated water in juice that you're paying 52 bucks for. 53 bucks. That is wild. Fucking wild. Okay. Which I'm doing this a little backwards of what I rehearsed, but that's okay. I'm gonna do you this rehearsed like this? <laughs> Put some ice in here with a fancy spoon because everything fancy makes it taste better. <laughs> Just kidding. They got that I sonic do. ice though. I do not fancy. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this in and then we're going to pour in our delicious drink. Just like that. And the reason also why I like to stir is because the oils will sit at the top of the um, That's exactly what we were saying earlier. And yeah. it's spilling, but that's okay, y'all. Yeah, oils and water don't do mix. This. So, you know, anytime that you're making any beverage or mm -hmm. anything with the oils, mm -hmm. you want to stir it up really good. Okay. Now, oh, I'm going to, well, wait. I was going to say, what you could do if we had a little thing. You could put this, this is so and stupid. put the hair. Or you could even get. Oh, my goodness. Put a, sprig a little sprig of basil right in there. However you want to do it. However you want to dress it up. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Are we supposed to do this? Yeah. Let's okay, drink cheer. it. Are you supposed to do this? No. Let me answer that question for you. No. No one is supposed to be drinking this fucking monstrosity that you have created. Cheers. Oh, let's cheers. Okay. Oh my word, it's so good. Wait for it. Oh my word, it's so good. <laughs> I know these bitches so well. <laughs> called it, called it. I promise I didn't pre-watch this. I just know these girls so well. <laughs> Screaming, dude. Screaming! It's botanical, y'all. It is delicious. It tastes like a spa. <gasps> plus, it's like an orchard. It, it's like a raindrop in mm. a drink. <laughs> it's like a raindrop in a drink? The raindrop, if you guys didn't um, watch our last live stream about this, um, raindrop is like, they did a whole episode about the raindrop technique last episode. So definitely go back and watch that. Um, it's ridiculous. It's like a mixture of like seven or eight essential oils that like you're supposed to like put down your spine and like massage in certain uh, in a certain order and stuff. It's stupid and there's no real scientific backing behind it at all. Um, but like some of the oils were like they seem like they were like something that's like not drinkable and here she is like oh it's like we're drinking the raindrop i don't think you're supposed to drink the raindrop <laughs> it's so Jeez. Good. but lime and and fizzy and the mint comes through oh yeah the mint comes through i love it's it it's amazing i love I it i like that i put my basil in there yeah it's so good okay so, so we have lots of options um, but we would love to hear from you and some of your recipes that you like to use when you have gatherings. <laughs> Baby pink curl. Thank you. I got heartburn just thinking about drinking that. <laughs> your third super on live stream. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it so much. Um, heartburn. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I get heartburn from like peppers and stuff. I don't know if that would give me heartburn. It would just like poison me <laughs> i'd have other issues drinking that shit probably um with your that's gonna burn your friends. skin off and so you can send those in to us at info at that oil oh goody that's loud the second way that you can use your young living essential oils is topically yes. so we had aromatic now 
uh, or inhalation. Now we have topical usage. And so I think that's what, mm -hmm. what we started are talking uh -huh. about. We, started, we all just naturally yeah, started talking natural. about it. <laughs> because then you become a human diffuser. Yeah. You change the atmosphere of the places that, that you go into. I know Laura, Laura talks about um, being a thermostat. Wait. The a thermostat, not a thermometer. <laughs> not the thermometer thermo. only tells the temperature of the, that the thermostat that changes. changes. Yes. That's, that's right. Yes. So yes. you can wear, like the Blend Joy, mm. you know, I'll wear that. And when I go places, people are like, oh, wow. Like it changes the atmosphere, the mood of the people in the room. <laughs> when I walk into a room, everyone's attitudes just change. Everyone gets happier whenever I walk into a room. Shut up. Dude, shut up. Uh, yeah, this is Pippi. Take a moment for Pippi. <clears throat> She's purring. This is my old lady. Mm. She turns 15 in May. Mm. She my old lady, but she the best lady, yes. <gasps> Say hello to your fans. Mm. She is the absolute best. And we don't put essential oils on her. And look at that, she's almost 15. <laughs> It's almost like they're unnecessary to your health and your pet's health, but these people wouldn't want you to hear that. Because they're breathing in these tiny molecules mm -hmm. that's emanating from your body, mm -hmm. from oils that you put on, and it's having an effect not only for you, but for other people around you. So with that, how do you put on an essential oil? Well, we all have an oil. <laughs> uh, you take it and you throw it straight in the garbage. Don't put essential oils on your skin. Thank you. Uh, everybody pick out an oil. If you want a new oil, I'm gonna do Valor. Ooh. And so, you know, one of the things that, um, I always tell people at the very beginning, start, go low and slow. What the fuck? They're like whispering to each other and one of them was like, don't use that one. <laughs> what are we missing? What are these conversations going on? They're like, why are they all whispering to each other? And like, what's this lady's name? This one's not. What is her name? I always forget. Sarah, I think. I always want to call her Talia, but I think that one's Talia. This one, I think, is Sarah. She's, like, trying to talk, and the rest of them are just, like, whispering, like, not even listening to her at all. Slow. <laughs> and so just start with a drop, and then you can... Oh, so, so don't dilute it, is what she's saying. No, no need to dilute our essential oils. Put it straight in your hand and right on your skin. Um, bad advice. Bad advice. Uh, if anyone takes this advice, you're gonna end up with some fucking skin irritation, dude. So don't do that. Um, rub it on the bottom of your feet. So I know we all can't do that right now to reach our feet without looking weird. But, um, <laughs> but I see, see Talia's putting in her hair. Um, uh, I have in some your valor. Hair? Okay, if you put essential oil in your hair, your hair's gonna look all oily. What the fuck are you people doing? <laughs> and it's amazing for my muscles. Um, especially sometimes I'll, I'll carry stress in my shoulders. So I can use, just use it directly. It's called NEAT, N-E-A-T. When you're looking in some of the reference guides, it'll say topical application. NEAT means the oil directly on the skin. With our Young Living Essential Oils, they're such a high quality, um, and so many no. are very gentle no. Don't that we say can it. use them no. NEAT. No. So directly on the skin. This is such bad advice like this this what she is saying right now is going to harm people it is going to harm people now i have no doubt that there probably are some essential oils and essential oil blends that eh, put them on your skin it's probably not a big deal but there are others that you do not do that with dude these pe straight up just harming people dude this is infuriating for the audacity of her to be like, oh, no, it's totally fine. It's not. And Young Living is no different than all the other essential oils, no matter how much you want to fucking say it is. The other thing is, too, is that they say that their oils are, like, the most concentrated. They're the most powerful. They're the So then wouldn't you think that, like, putting it on your skin is probably more dangerous than other essential oils, if that's the case? Yeah. There are hot oils, exactly, like, they, the, every single episode they're talking shit, well, not talking shit, they love their oregano oil, but they're always saying, oh, it's such a hot oil, you gotta be, use it sparingly, wasn't there one episode they had dumb stuff with oils, someone, like, put it on their butthole, is, like, literally, wasn't that a thing that they did? <laughs> and it was, like, the worst experience of their life? Yeah, you can't be telling people to just put oils on your skin, oh yeah, it's Young Living, so it's safe. 
No, it's not. It's super not. Don't do it. Do essential oils attract bugs? Probably some of them do. <laughs> I can imagine. Um, they, what is, is it citronella? Yeah. They have citronella oil, citronella oil that they say, which, I mean, I think is like scientifically proven that cit citronella keeps like mosquitoes away and stuff, right? Like that's an actual thing. Um, but they have an essential oil for that. So I don't fucking know. Um, so like with Panaway for Was it episode joints one? That's for funny. muscles, you just put a drop, drop it in your hand, um, and then... Um, you know, just put it where you're needing it. Okay. Now, if you have so your whole body, you suspect might be a little spicy. Let's say thieves or cinnamon or oregano. Um, if you feel like, okay, it smells a little spicy. I'm going to go a little low and slow. That's where you can take a carrier oil. And so, oh, so that's up to your own interpretation then. Is that what she's saying? She's like, if you think it smells spicy, then use a carrier oil. It's like, you should probably have some kind of what's the word I'm looking for um oh my god I'm drawing a brain a blank I'm having a brain fart um I don't know the word I'm trying to say a method I guess like you should you should have like some guidelines or something if you're gonna tell people to put essential oils on your skin tell them which ones they definitely cannot don't leave it up to someone like smell like people don't know what the fuck they're smelling in an essential oil they're so strong if you're gonna sniff it and be like oh this one smells a little spicy like they don't fucking know don't leave this up to someone like people are stupid okay people are dumb especially you fucking essential oil people i don't think i just think there's so much of a like a stigma behind essential oils that these people like to be like, oh, it's totally safe. All of them are safe. You can do whatever you want with them and you'll be totally fine. And it's like, that's just not the case. So like if someone's not educated on which oils are hot oils, like someone's going to put oregano oil on their butthole, just like you people did. And it's not going to be a fun time. Young Living has this V6 um, oil blend, uh, carrier oil blend. It's got um, coconut oil. Absolving and liability. Oil yeah. And or you can just grab your own organic uh, olive oil or coconut oil. And so I just start with putting a drop or two in my hand. Then I'll add, you know, something that's a little spicy um, to it. And then I'll just rub. She was just shaking. How many fucking drops did you get? Like, are you even diluting it at that point? She's like, oregano oil. <laughs> like one or two drops of coconut oil and 17 drops of oregano. That'll be fine. That's fine. Now you can put it on your skin. No. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, do not. My hands together and then I'll apply it where I'm needing to apply it. Or just put it on the bottom of your feet. Um, as you're, you know, just getting started and used to your oils. Um... Why does anyone need to get used to essential oils if they're all so safe and so uh, so wonderful? Like, what? Get used to them? Something's not adding up here. You can make massage oils, uh, massage blends. You also can get... David, from this is a very good point. So ironic that they themselves have stories of people being dangerous with oils and they still say this shit. Like, they, the stories involve them. Like, it's their, their stories. They've all harmed themselves with essential oils before. And they still say this shit. Yeah. In Young Living, they have these uh, roller fitments that you can pop on the top of your, your oil bottle. So handy. They are so, so incredibly handy. handy. I and it. I just used the lid and I took off this little orifice reducer. I think in our pro tip segment, if, we, if you haven't already seen it in this episode, we're going to show you some more tips on... Uh, using your oils but anyway you set the fitment on there and just put the lid that it comes with on and it pops on and now you can just that's my valor I can just roll it on so easy undiluted easy. and then you can take it off and put on your next bottle of valor that's the thing is it's reusable yeah. Reusable. oh yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and you just take it off you just kind of pop it like <laughs> <laughs> and it fell in my water <laughs> there you go this is they all just like acted like that reaction they all had was just like oops uh just did something really really fucking terrible like oops just like accidentally let out a fart bomb in a walmart you know like oops they were all freaking out it's like calm down 
Calm down. This is real life, y'all. Okay, okay. So anyway. Use that for your diffuser later. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think she's joking. She's like, I'm gonna drink it, like saying it like it's a joke. I don't, I mean, I don't know what's in Valor, but I'm sure there's shit in there that you shouldn't be ingesting. She says it like it's a joke, but I guarantee she's gonna fucking drink it. And it keeps, uh, what I like about the, um, <laughs> the roller fitment tops is they are um, easy to use. God, I have them turned clean. up all the way, fam. They're easy Sorry. for your kids. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, can, you can't, um, you can't it don't, they won't spill out mm -hmm. when you're using them. And so, you know, it's easy. It just makes it more convenient yeah. So you don't have to put it in your hand first and whatever. And so it just makes it easy to, you know, throw those in your purse and bring them with you places. And mm -hmm. I was um, going to say, we put them on our dry dries because yeah. sometimes dry dries isn't the most delicious smelling. And so uh, <laughs> we put that on like the kids' bellies and on their feet. And so you don't have to necessarily have it on your hands. to just mm -hmm. Oh, see, that's a good idea. Drop that under your tongue. See, all of us have one of those oils where we're like, uh -uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you just need That's to use them so anyway. Uh, you do. Now, sometimes I get questions. I, I remember what it was like when I first started using the oils. I didn't know anybody using an essential oil. I had never seen one used in person before. That's because you people are all freaks. <laughs> That's because no one else, like, you guys are the 1%. You guys are fucking weirdos. Yeah, no one else uses them because they know better. Oils. It's a long story, but it was the first time that I had seen or used one, and I didn't even know, like, where do I put it when I'm putting it on topically? Mm -hmm. Well, one of the first places you can put it is the bottom of your feet. Why the bottom of your feet? One of our science people. This because is so dangerous. In your feet that the oils travel up the nerves to all the organs of your body. Yeah. yeah. And your lymphatic system, your circulatory mm -hmm. system, mm -hmm. they can go everywhere. So when in doubt, just put, you know, a couple drops Plus on the, the bottom of your feet. On, the skin on your feet is not as sensitive as skin right. in other places. That's so, right. so it's not some, spicy. A spicy oil you might want to, you know, like she said, dilute when you're putting on your arms or whatever you put on your feet, you don't necessarily have to because your feet can handle it. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, so our feet, nothing can harm you if you put it on your feet, right? <laughs> you ever walked in fucking poison ivy? <laughs> you ever stepped on poison oak? I'm sure you're going to have a bad time. I don't think your feet are like the armor of your body that you think it is. And so from the feet, then I think of... Okay, let me get it as close to the place I'm feeling that I need it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, so then, you know, if it's a muscle because you've been doing, you know, a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of workouts or whatever, then put it over that muscle. You know, put, put it on Within the area. Reason. Within reason. Have they always had a TV right here that has their logo on it? I feel like this is new. This is season three, episode one. So maybe it's a new addition that they have. But was this always here? I'm not sure. Reason. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Go back to season one, episode <laughs> one. <laughs> within, reason. Reason. within reason, there are some places maybe that you shouldn't put oils. Dude, Quinlan, are you the one who earlier was like, yeah, it was definitely episode one. Are, are these people so fucking predictable that at this point we're just like, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to talk about this and they're going to talk about this and they're going to say this. And they're like, Quinlan just fucking called it, dude. Yeah, season one, episode one. I talked about when I put it on my butthole. Right, there is some sensitive skin. And, and so if, yeah, you should dilute, lot. right, you should either dilute them first or <laughs> you should just um, not do it. You can just be careful to not put them in sensitive areas, especially our spicy oils in sensitive areas don't always go together. Yeah. That's right. So, that's right. They so never this is go what together. We call kind of like common sense usage. Mm -hmm. And so we just start low and slow and then you go from there and you may say, "Hey, I love that oil. I feel good when I put it on and I want to put it on everywhere. I want to put it on my face. I want to put Fine, then do that. No, don't, do that. No don't, really ma'am. <laughs> I just, I just want to give up. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> She's like, you just get, you're gonna feel like, oh, I feel so good when I put this oil on my arms. I just want to put it on my face. And she's like, just do that. No, no. What? <laughs> One of these days, someone's gonna get hurt. And they'll probably sue Young Living first. 
But, like, hopefully you're also on that lawsuit as well because you're the one fucking telling them to do this shit. Any wrong ways? There's just Stepping on ways. bees? Yep, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I love to smell oils throughout the day. And so one way I love to do that is after I wash my hair when it's wet because I don't want I don't like to have oily looking hair and it will make it. I like to put it on my scalp, um, put oils on my on a on a wet scalp or you know damp for sure. But that way I will turn my head sometimes and I'll just get a whiff of that mm -hmm. um, that smell and it's phenomenal to yeah. just kind of go oh yeah I've got I'm wearing oils I, I mm -hmm. smell it because we you use so many sometimes we forget. You do, but yeah, yeah. Um, but putting them on, I, yeah. I'm constantly putting them on throughout the day, and sometimes you get a whiff and you're like, ah, oh, I need to reapply. So, <laughs> when I was new, if you if you're turning your head and you get a whiff, wouldn't that mean that it's like still there? Or why would you go reapply it then? If you're like, oh, I can still smell this thing, <laughs> what? Why would you then? Be like, I clearly need more. <laughs> it's there, like you smell it. What the fuck? You, when we started, we were going. I was going to a really large church, and uh, I would see people in the church, and they would, we. I knew you were here. I smelled you in the elevator. <laughs> Dude, you people are stinking up every single fucking place you go. I knew you were here. Like. <laughs> You were in this elevator 30 minutes ago and your smell is still lingering. Like, that's not a good thing. Just imagine, like, standing behind these people at the grocery store, you know? Like, you could probably smell them. Like, if they're at one end of the aisle and you're at the other, then you'd probably smell it. <laughs> you smell these fucking people, let alone standing right behind them. They just, like, leave this lingering odor. <laughs> And they all think they smell good, but I can guarantee there are plenty of essential oils that do not smell good. And these people just, like, take it wherever they go. It's just, oh my god. I don't, I don't want to go to these people's houses. I don't want to stand anywhere near them. I don't want to go in a building that these people have been in. I don't want to smell it. I don't want to smell your fucking shit, man. Which, your shit also is probably <laughs> shit mixed with essential oils. <laughs> I've gotten that so many times. I smelled you come in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and before Young Living, that would have been Like, in any other environment, that would not be a good thing. If someone's like, I smelled you coming. Like, that's not a good thing at all. <laughs> Usually, that kind of comment is reserved for stinky people. And I'm pretty sure that you people would fall under the category of stinky people. <laughs> That was really loud. I'm sorry. It's because they're really, really quiet. I don't. <laughs> been a problem. <laughs> but now it's, but it's always a compliment. It's a good thing. It's, but it's always it is always yeah. a good thing. No, it's not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hello, everyone, I and that welcome really to fast. Pro Tips. This is our new segment um, that we've added Great. here for season three, and. Tally and I are here to share, share with you some of our favorite tips on how to store your Young Living Essential Oils. And uh, so many of y'all I know are pretty new to Young Living, those of y'all that are watching. And so, uh, yeah, it's important to know yeah. how to store your oils. You get them and you're like, okay, what do I do with these things? My favorite way is by color or alphabetically. <laughs> Um, okay, so yes, you know, store your oils alphabetical or by color. Okay, yeah, that is all the one professionals thing. do. I know, <laughs> but I am talking. Define professional. All the professional people arrange their oils by color. <laughs> yeah, like professional network marketers. Is that what you're talking about? Because. <laughs> Yikes, I don't think you're gonna go to an aromatherapist, like a licensed aromatherapist, and see Young Living bottles on their wall. I don't think so. Someone in the chat earlier was saying that uh, their licensed aromatherapist told them that if they were to associate with Young Living or doTERRA, that they would lose their license. I don't know what the specs to that are, but... um. Professional, what are you talking about? All the professionals do it? Professional oily babes? Like, what are you talking about? Talking about storing your oils to make sure that everything that's in yeah. your bottle 
um, you know, stays viable and all those wonderful properties stay active and everything. Yeah. And so as you, when you got your Young Living Essential Oils, you probably noticed that the bottle, the glass that they're in is amber. And there's a reason for that. Um, with essential oils, you wanna make sure they're stored in a dark, um, dry and cool, cool. space. And um, a, one big reason for that is essential oil molecules are super duper tiny and there's different types of molecules and some are really light mm -hmm. and they're really active and when they get into some heat they want to go they move even faster and faster and then they want to evaporate they want to evaporate right. exactly and so um, just keeping them in a cool dry place really just helps them um, to stay so what if their oils so what if all oil, their oils get hot like if they've left their oil, which you should not store your oil oils in your car mm -hmm. but you know let's say you leave your purse in your car and you come back out and like it's hot then what do we do well you want to get them into a well, cool, then dark cool down yeah cool, cool down first because when you open, open that lid man those those molecules are super yeah. active and it's probably going to evaporate a lot now when they say that i don't think that they know what they're saying <laughs> oh the molecules are so active what you don't you don't even know what those words mean <laughs> faster than you would want it to right. and so keep the lid on just bring the temperature down and I still use it and I still oh, yeah. get great effectiveness yeah. so so when Absolutely. somebody says oh my goodness it's so hot outside I left it in the car now I can't use my oils no yes you can just you know let the bottle cool down yes. and then open it and use it um, but in you know in general um, you're good to go keeping it in a cabinet or sometimes you know some people like to get oil bags and um, here's oil one of my bags. oil bags I like to travel with and the oils are Maybe. stored upright now with those molecules being super duper tiny um, this lid uh, is actually a bit porous mm -hmm. and so those tiny molecules uh, sometimes can actually so so then why did Gary Young, if he's such a freaking essential oil god, why did he design caps that don't work as well as they should? Like, if, if Gary Young is Jesus, how come he didn't know to put, like, a different kind of cap on the bottle? Huh? Why? Why, Gary? Why? <laughs> over time kind of come out the lids there's some of these oils well you're holding up yeah, some of them say, this well, is sacred mountain it has i believe it's is this one have um, blue cypress or blue tansy in it and I'm so you sure. see the lid i don't know if you can see that the lid is already blue tinged. it's blue tinged and so and i've kept it stored up right but those molecules are super tiny that seems like a design flaw to me maybe you should take that up with gary young oh wait that's right he died <laughs> in his 60s <laughs> seems like those young living essential oils didn't keep him young and spry the way you people always say that they do huh so yeah. um so you just keep them upright if you store them on their side the oils touching that lid and they and soak in. and they soak in and kind of can seep out. Yeah. Um, for example, when you get a Young Living um, collection of oils, for example, the oils of ancient scripture kit, the oils in here are now. Is this a different kit? Because they have one that's literally like oils of the Bible. Now this one says oils of ancient scripture. Are these two different oil sets? seems redundant actually let me show you real quick they're actually whoop here we go upright and so don't get a kit like yeah they're upright if you're holding it like that if you're if you're a normal fucking person and you have it laying down on its widest side they're not upright anymore <laughs> what like this or a box and then store it sitting down right. because over time if you're not using your oils which please you use your oils use up. your oils <laughs> but i've no i mean yeah if you're gonna be spending a bunch of money on them better use them because <laughs> that set of oils is probably like 150 200 bucks if i had to guess on people that have had their kits like this mm. for years and they forgot about them oh my gosh but then they open them and they're like halfway and gone halfway yeah. And, and why is that? Those tiny, tiny molecules just found an easy way out. Yeah. 
by touching that lid. So anyway, store them upright uh, and, and, and you're gonna be good to go. And I would say too, I just literally just thought about this off the top of my head. So I store exactly, Quinlan, that's a good point. They don't ship them upright. Yeah, it, it, there's no way, like if a box that's containing that set comes to the post office, I doubt it's like this way up, you know, like, plus the postal workers are just throwing that shit everywhere. Maybe it says it's fragile and they like aren't throwing it, but like there's no way that they're constantly just being kept upright in a week. Like there's no way. There's no way. I also want to think that they can prevent that by cranking Use your oil so you need really to buy tight. more. Exactly. Oh, and if you crank the lids on your oils really tight, the top of those lids will actually crack open um, over time. And so you don't want to do that because that's a, just another way for the oils to mm -hmm. escape. So just, you know, finger tighten them, keep them standing upright. And I think. I don't think there's anyone out here who's doing more than finger tightening uh, oil. Like, what do you think they're doing? Like getting a fucking wrench every time? Like, <laughs> Gotta make sure these oils stay close. No one's, I mean, is, I don't know. These people surprise me all the time. You know, yeah. over time, they should be fine. Yeah, and kits like this, I just store them on a shelf, just sitting upright yeah. and, and you're good to go. So Talia, you were sharing with me something that in my 17 years in Young Living, I didn't think of some of these tips to do. Um, but so teach me, okay. what, what do you do when you get your Young Living products? So um, one of the things that I learned from uh, my upline, Miss, well, Sarah's my upline too, but uh, Deborah I'm sure is, she is. she's taught me um, at one point to put stickers on the bottoms of, because if you're like me, you have lots and lots of oils or you're gonna be wanting lots and lots of oils and sometimes you you know store them on, their sh on the shelf and you're like- If you're like me, uh, you've wasted your entire life savings on these stupid pointless bottles of oil. <laughs> like man I have so many of the same kind how do I know which ones I got first and you kind of want to make sure you're rotating through so over time that one oil doesn't get shoved to the back of the of the shelf and then it's 10 years old you go to open it and you're like it's gone because it's evaporated especially your citrus oils will tend to evaporate a little bit easier so what you can do a solution for that is you can get some of these <laughs> fabs fabs m29 says even the oils want to escape from these crazy people. <laughs> that comment deserves a trophy. Little cheapy stickers um, in the different colors. And you can, as your oils come in, ones that you know that you are going to purchase a lot of. Um, and you can just dedicate one color to a year. So like this is 2023 when we're recording this. And so you can just put a sticker for 2023 on the bottom of your oils as you get them in. And so you know that every oil, the green sticker is from 2023. And so when you go to pull them off the shelf and use them, you're gonna wanna use your green ones. Dude, I'm surprised that Young Living hasn't just like started selling their own essential oil labels. Cause like they could buy that shit and just like re repackage it or whatever and mark it up like 300% and these people will still buy them. Oh no, I need the Young Living labels. You can't go buy these cheap stickers from Walmart. <laughs> When Young Living does it, it's more pure. Like, it's fucking a sticker. <laughs> Before, in 2024, you're going to put the orange. Yeah, so stick them yeah. in the back. Right, stick them in the back. Mm -hmm. And then just double check that. The other thing is, if you don't want to, you're like, well, I mean, maybe I'm not going to use that many stickers. Well, you could totally just get a set of white stickers and just write the date on them. Mm -hmm. So it's super easy. You don't have to worry about the colors or anything like that. Another cool tip for... Um, making, making sure you're rotating your oils, but also figuring out how long your products last you um, is when you open a fresh product, especially something, um, I do this with my facial care, like my um, face wash. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't sure how often I was ordering it. And so I decided I'm gonna figure this out. How long is the, are these bottles lasting me? And so what I did was I took them and every time I open a new one, um, I actually write the date on the bottom with a Sharpie. And so I know when I started it, and then when it's empty, I can look at the bottom and say, oh, this lasted me four months of daily use. So I oh know I need to order this product three times a year, and I can make sure I'm either ordering it seasonally, or I know, hey, I'm ordering this, I'm gonna order three bottles with my points, it's gonna right. last me all year. I don't have to order again until next year. That's brilliant. Yeah. I love that, I love that. You know, I get questions so sometimes. People say, should I store my oils in the refrigerator? 
I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. It's not. Quinlan's making some pretty good points in the chat here. Uh, they're saying none of the none of this tip is necessary if you know how to read lot numbers, right? But I, I mean, do Young Living bottles come with lot numbers? Like, I don't think they even go so far as to, to like give their customers that basic courtesy of being like this is the lot well maybe they do i don't know um but right like if they come if the bottles come with a printed lot number or even like put some fucking expiration dates on the bottles young living like come on what are you doing good point though like this is just totally unnecessary not really necessary I've never um but and people say well how long will my oils last well if they're stored properly um, a very long time. I mean, when they discovered King Tut's tomb, yeah. like they found alabaster. Already. Um, this is not the first time they brought up King Tut this episode. Like what? <laughs> the jars was still with residue of oils in there yeah. and they were still viable. And so, but I, here's what I tell people. Use your oils. Yes. <laughs> Open the yes. bottles. Use them every day. And you're not even going to have to worry about problem. anything. And your, uh, your oils are just going to be fine. So. Yeah, that's some of our favorite tips. Are they going to be fine or are they going to be permeating the plastic top? Because, like, you just got done saying that if you don't do this and you don't do this, if you don't store it this way and you don't, then it's not going to be fine. And now she's like, oh, just, it'll be fine. Okay. Oops. Oh, 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 oh. I turned it down. I got it. What the fuck is this? Who the fuck is Aaron? Salutations, sensational sapiens. Today, I want us to spend some time connecting. This is new. Joining and practicing being present in the moment. What is that? A necklace for ants? <laughs> or no? <laughs> That's not what I meant. If, I mean, like, he looks like a very small person and, and those beads are very big. He looks like a baby wearing a pearl necklace. <laughs> Why are those pearls so big? <laughs> Moment. I want you to get out your bottle of rainbows and butterflies. I want you to shut AKA. the fuck up. Dude, he's making a mockery out of this. This is a show that's like hosted by women. And here he is just being like, is this how you talk to women? Rainbows and butterflies. Sh Dude, this is condescending and you, you're the fucking worst. You're the fucking worst, sir. Get out of here. Young Living's Release Essential Oil. Nice balls. <laughs> place five to eight drops in your diffuser. Or if you're like me, place a full bottle in all of your diffusers. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Because your downline commission checks is going to be real big if you're telling them to put a whole fucking bot. I know he's saying this shit. Everything that's coming out of his mouth is a joke right now. But like the people watching this don't think it's a joke. They believe every fucking thing you say and they don't have a sense of humor. They laugh at their stupid... Go back to the fucking science highlight. Every single episode they have a shitty dad joke. Not even a funny dad joke. Just a shitty one. And they laugh at it every time. They think it's hilarious. They make dumb jokes all the fucking time. That's hilarious. They don't have a sense of humor, dude. What you're saying right now, someone's listening to that. And plus, this is an episode that's like getting started with essential oils. So like, if you have beginners watching this and trying to learn from you who don't have a sense of humor and probably can't pick up sarcasm to save their fucking life, you can't just go around being like, put a whole bottle in your diffuser. Don't do that because they're going to fucking do it. They're going to do it. <laughs> you're going to harm people. Add water and let's go to letting go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Emery, a necklace for elephants. Yeah, yeah, that's good. What is this? A necklace for elephants? There we go. That's it's like the opposite of what I was saying. <laughs> My BFF from another life, Taylor Swift. Breathe in. Breathe. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> through. Breathe deep. And breathe out. Do you know how I know that these people don't have a sense of humor? Is because those the people who know that this is a joke are laughing at this, and it's also not funny. There's not I I have no good things to say about this segment. 
he's making a mockery out of something that's already mockable. <laughs> he's just making it worse. And then all the naive, well, yeah, vulnerable, I guess, but, um, what's the word? Gullible people, I guess, who don't know what sarcasm is and have no sense of humor, um, are gonna be take- is someone mowing their fucking lawn right now? It's like 8 o'clock? Oh no, it's 7 o'clock. Oh, I don't know. It's getting dark outside. What are you people doing? Anyway. Is he wearing a wig or is that his real hair? There's no way he has hair like that. That's gotta be a wig, right? <laughs> ah, all better. No! Oh, I hate it. That was the terrible. Way we can use our Young Living Essential Oils is... I wonder, is that the same guy? You remember episode one? Uh, all my, all my, <laughs> all my lifers will remember. It was episode one because they have a segment called Bang for Your Buck, I think is what they call it. And the first episode, there was a dude hosting it. And I wonder if that's the same guy. Because I remember saying, like, this is fucked up because, like, it was very, like, misogynistic, like, kind of like, I'm the man, and us man, us men are the heads of the household who handle all the money, so, like, hey, men, listen to my money-saving tip, like, it, it, it was so shitty, and then every episode after that was hosted by these people, um, so, yeah, I wonder if that's the same guy, I wouldn't be surprised, like, he seems, like, does this dude think he's a comedian, and, and do these people who are surrounding him all the time, do they make him think that he's a funny person? Because I'm going to tell you right now, pal, nothing's funny about what you're doing. It's cringe. Internally. And that's very unique to our Young Living Essential Oils because of the, not just the purity, but the quality. Feel and good. so some of the ways, what are some of the ways we can use our oils internally? Right here, I've got lemon. Um, don't peppermint, citrus fresh. There's don't. so many that we would like to put straight up in our water. Die, dies. <laughs> I'm like pointing at my screen. She's just like straight up shaking it into her mouth, just taking multiple drops of it. I get that it's your vitality line, and so you're FDA compliant, which they'll all they'll always be like oh this is fda approved no it's fda compliant because the fda told you people that you can't be telling people to eat your essential oils if they're not labeled as food so they had to change the label it's the same shit but they just had to change the label anyway to be fda compliant anyway um ma'am like speechless these fucking people Digize, look at her and her so digest either like it or you don't there's a fennel it's just it's the fennel, fennel is so strong ew and okay fennel for me um is one like i'm i'm very like i'm not picky with my food but fennel is one of those things that like if it's in sausages <laughs> where else do you put fennel i don't know I regularly, like, will taste it in sausage or, you know, um, I think the first time I realized I didn't like fennel, I was eating, like, a meat lasagna, and it was in the sausage, so that's, I think that's why I, like, anyway, I'm not picky with my food, but fennel, for some fucking reason, I hate it, I hate the smell of it, I hate the taste of it, it is the fucking worst IMO, and, um, yeah, Digize, she's saying, like, oh, it's so strong, it tastes like fennel, and then this girl's just, like, glug, 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 like, the fuck is wrong with you people? That is disgusting. Oh, yeah, pizza. But, like, sausage pizza, right? Like, the Italian sausage bits or whatever. Yes, Elaine, exactly. It's the licorice thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel you. Yeah, I don't like it either. Fennel is fine, but the seeds are what taste like licorice. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let me let me reiterate that. Because I used to get, um... Was it when I was getting Green Chef or Hello Fred? It was one of the meal kits. And... Like, see, whenever the fennel season is, there were um, months where they would send me recipes that had, like, the full-ass fennel. Is it a root? I don't know. Is it a root vegetable? <laughs> I have no fucking idea. But I realized that I don't actually hate, like, the white part. Like, the actual... Yeah, so I think it's the seeds that taste bad. But, like, the white actual fruit or root or whatever it is, um, if it's, you know, cooked right, it doesn't taste bad. But, yeah, the seeds are terrible.
awful. Yeah, fennel as an essential oil is my worst nightmare. Yeah, right, dude, what the fuck? You people are nasty. It's so good for your digestion, though. Yes. Yes. So you do need it. So you could put you're it. You're so brave. You're so brave. I, said, I would rather taste it for a minute or so than smell it all day. <laughs> You cannot argue with that logic. You cannot argue. Yeah. Well, you can take a drop, put it in water, put it into your Ningxia red juice. Um, you could put it in just any juice, um, you know, almond milk or whatever. You can easily take the oils internally as a supplement. Almond milk? <laughs> Hang on. Can we, can we take a moment to process that? Y'all are putting essential oils in almond? Supplement as you're supporting your immune system. As it's a root like celery. Okay, that makes sense. Um, then another way too, I have one right here, is a little capsule. Mm -hmm. um, Young mm -hmm. Living sells the clear veggie capsules, and um, there you probably can't see it. It's very clear. <laughs> it's tiny. Um, and then you could add some here. I think we're gonna do a pro tip um, mm -hmm. later um, with some fun, like easy ways to fill capsules. But I just eyeball it. And, you know, oh, I think this is almost gone. <laughs> oh, no, it evaporated through the lid. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I, I have to get one that has, do I want die dyes? <laughs> it's better in a capsule. There we go. It's better in a capsule. Yeah. I don't know if you can see this. There, you go. there we go. So, so let me get this straight. The camera pans away once you start actually filling the veggie capsule so no one can see what you're doing. What is the point of this camera angle? Aren't you trying to be like giving some pro tips? Ma'am, this show is a damn mess. And so I just eyeball it, put the lid on and then take it, you know, take it down and swallow it down. Um, but then you can also take our- Ew, and then when you do that, you're probably just burping fennel all day. Blah! Young Living Vitality oils and you can um, put them into recipes mm -hmm. and cook mm -hmm. with them and you all, mm -hmm already seen on several other seasons and lots of shows all the ways that we can add the Young Living Essential Oils into our recipes. Are you gonna eat that? Yes, I will. Okay. I was going to take a drink of my water with my roller bottle thing. <laughs> See, she was saying she's actually going to fucking eat it. What was that roller for? Valor? There's got to be shit in Valor that you can't consume without fucking poisoning yourself. Like, that's not, that's not a vitality blend. Like, there's something in there that shouldn't be eaten. And she's like, oops, <laughs> accidentally poisoned my water. But it's okay, it's essential oil poison, so it's fine. Gluh, gluh, gluh. Like, oh my God. <laughs> you think I should? <laughs> uh, it is, it is. It'll taste it's like skinny. Valor water. Uh, but yeah, what are... <laughs> hey. What? See, they're like cracking up at that. There's nothing funny about that. These people don't have a sense of humor. <laughs> they're like, ha, ha, ha. Let's make this guy talk down to us stupid women and, and wear a goofy costume and do this namaste shit. It's hilarious. Also, ha <laughs> ha, Valor Water, ha <laughs> Bitch, go to a comedy show or something. Y'all need help. <laughs> Whatever. So while I'm doing this, somebody um, want to tell a story. So How a do you... fun thing I like to do with peppermint, and this was one of the first experiences I had at a, at a um, home gathering, was taking a drop of peppermint in my hand and I put it on the on my thumb and then on the roof of my mouth. Why? Now close your mouth. Mm. Oh man, it's, it's around. so. Now anymore. I will yeah. tell you <laughs> because of like the aroma. I was thinking more so like if you're gonna like put essential oil on your finger and stick it anywhere in your mouth, like wouldn't you do it like under your tongue so it's like a sublingual, uh, whatever the fuck they call it. But I guess when you put it at the roof of your mouth, it's like stimulates your smell or something, right? So it's like an aromatherapy thing. But also now they're eating it, so it looks okay. Okay, I bet their kind of comedy is Matt Rife. I, I guess maybe. I mean, even I'll not to defend Matt Rife, but he's funnier than these fuckers. And you he's know, not I even funny. Know, I know it. It's yeah. I was like I could almost feel it, and, and I don't even know have it. Feels and like I tell you when if I. I love how it makes my, my sinuses feel. I love how refreshed I feel when I do that. Um, when I put peppermint in my water, it helps me to feel satisfied if I get if I get hungry or cravings. But when I put it on the roof of my mouth, it's the same, same entry point. Is she suggesting that peppermint oil can help with appetite suppression? Therefore, if you take our essential oils, you'll lose weight? 
because you won't be snacking so much if you're drinking our peppermint oil. Is that what you were just suggesting? Because uh, is there scientific shit behind that? Probably not. Point, but it helps just me to feel I can breathe. Excellent. I'd love to do it. Um, the Lassie. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, King. Um, this is a essential oil talk show called That Oil Show uh, that we watch regularly here as a live stream on this channel because it is ridiculousness. Um, it is Young Living Essential Oil representatives talking about essential oils for an hour as if they are on the talk or um, some other fucking i don't know it's it's bullshit it's all bullshit but we gather here i've gathered you all here today so we can cringe and laugh at the ridiculousness of these reps together and also debunk their bullshit because the shit that they spew i tell you what it's very dangerous dangerous misinformation um and wrong for a workout, yeah. just to no actually scientific, get my just lungs shit. Um, excited for breathing. Yeah. And, <laughs> so, open. and open. And Did she say excited for breathing? Does anyone, I mean, unless you've gone a significant amount of time without breathing, uh, th th maybe at that point you're like, I'm so excited to take a breath. Like if you're, I don't know, are you fucking diving, like snorkeling or something and you take a dive and you're like, gotta get back up to the surface. I'm so excited to take a breath. <laughs> Otherwise I can't think excited to breathe. <laughs> Is that how dull these people's lives are that they're like, I get excitement from breathing. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Yo. Ready, yeah, yes. ready to be able, so I'm not. It's more of a, it helps me to breathe slower and more intense. Mm, if you're constantly breathing like, <sighs> you need to go to a doctor. You might have long COVID <laughs> or something. <laughs> Which you know that none of these people are vaccinated. Um, so, ma'am, if you, if you are regularly breathing like that, you need to go get help. And fresh breath. Ew. Well, yes, that too. Fresh, fresh, fresh breath. breath. Yeah. yeah. And I have to say, your eyes I get the giggles dry. every time I when inhale. <laughs> Anyone else have any other ways that you like to take your oils internally? I, you know, she was putting it under her tongue. I, I've gotten to where I just put under my tongue. I'm yeah. like, dang it, let's get it over with. I mean, the, the lot right, of- Right, under your tongue is what I was thinking. I'm like, that makes a little bit more sense, like, scientifically, I guess. But then she's like, get it over with. So are you admitting they're disgusting? Shocking. Some of them taste like perfume. Free diving, they're right, oils, yeah. They're plants, they're flowers. But I'm just like, like she is, if you taste it for a few mm -hmm. minutes and then I feel like I get the immediate results and that, then I can move on with yeah, my day. That, yeah. Sometimes I feel like I love taking, I mean, I definitely. Um, what immediate results do you think you're getting from ingesting essential oils? I can tell you um, for sure that that's placebo. 100% placebo. I mean, unless like, I know like peppermint oil, like if you're like, hi, Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart's not a lap kitty. She's about to get real mad at me. All right, everybody. She's already pissed off. <laughs> Pop-Tart's here, everybody. Yeah. Pop-Tart's here, everybody. She is not purring because she does not like to be held. But Pop-Tart, they love you. <laughs> She's so mad right now. Look at Pop-Tart. They're putting you in the chat. Yeah. Mwah. Kiss you right on the mouth. Okay. <laughs> we got our Pop-Tart fix, everybody. It's good. It's good. Do veggie caps and, and things like oh, that. Oh, that's what I was saying. Those, like, peppermint oil, eucalyptus and stuff. Like, that's what's in... I know eucalyptus is in Vicks. Like, Vicks Vapor Rub. So, it does... Like, it does help you, like, clear your sinuses and stuff. Um, there are some, like, scientific uses and stuff for some essential oils, but, like, what these people are advocating for is just bullshit. So, like, unless, unless you're, like, inhaling eucalyptus or something to open your breathing passages or something, I can't imagine that there are very many essential oils that will put a drop under my tongue and then I immediately feel the result. No, that's placebo.
She looks delighted. Yeah, she was delighted. <laughs> but when I'm wanting an instant relief, an instant relief, an instant boost, an instant whatever, I want an instant result. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm gonna put that all right under my tongue. Yeah. yeah. What? Um, it's placebo. Yeah. Yeah, that's called placebo. Um, yeah, guys, Pop Tart is um not like my other two cats. She does not like to be on my lap. She likes to be pet, but it's like on her own terms. Like I have to, like if I try to touch her face and she doesn't want her face touched, she'll get all like weird. Like she will she will lay with me in bed or something, but like she'll only like nestle up in my legs. She won't lay by my face. Pip, Pippi, Itty, they'll like lay right on my face. They'll lay on my chest. They'll do like they're everywhere. Pop Tart is very standoffish. So, doesn't like to be held, doesn't like to be carried. Doesn't like to be smooched right on her little kitty face, which I do frequently because she's just so damn cute. She hates it. <laughs> but I love her so much. Yeah. I, because when you take something internally, Bye, it goes through your digestive system and Thank it filters through your liver and all of that. But you have places in your body that kind of just like your skin, it'll absorb right in and you can get a quicker result. Mm -hmm. And under your tongue is one of those places. And so, um, and it does, it really... It really doesn't taste bad. Yeah. It's very minty. You guys have just been spending like this whole fucking time saying that like Digize tastes bad. Is that what they, Digize? That's not a doTERRA oil, right? I don't know. Digize is one of theirs that they were talking about, right? I don't fucking know. No, you guys have just been like sitting here like, oh, oh, is this one Talia? That one's Talia, right? She's the one who put, who just like took drops of the Digize stuff. Um, and they're all like, oh, you're so brave. Uh, it only tastes bad for a few minutes and then you get on with your day. It's like, and now suddenly she's like, it doesn't taste bad. What is it then? Like, is this your humor? You think you're being funny? <laughs> Do you think this is sarcasm? I don't think. Again, no sense of humor. <laughs> it's a little bit or herby flowery, or flowery. flowery. Oil you're yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And some people are a little surprised at how they don't taste sweet. Um, yeah. They might, some might smell sweet, but when the, these aromatic plants are distilled, um, all the plant sugar stays with the plant materials. Mm -hmm. And so um, what you're left with is so many other wonderful properties, but they just don't taste, uh, they don't taste sweet, but they- but So why would it smell sweet then? I don't know, I don't get that. They're amazing. And, mm -hmm. and uh, another, that, that reminds me of one way, like lavender. Lavender is so helpful for me in the springtime. And so I remember one of the first times that- Ma'am, you would say that lavender is so helpful for you all year round, if anyone were to ask. So don't even start with us. <laughs> but I took lavender just, just straight up. I took a spoonful of raw local honey, mm. and then I put a drop of lavender mm. in there. And then that's actually the easier way for children um, to get- Do not. I repeat, do not give your children essential oils. Don't do it. They don't need it. And it's probably more harmful than good. Period. Get the oils that they might be needing for whatever particular reason. Um, but then after a while, I'm like, eh, and I just put the lavender right under my tongue. <laughs> and I get the relief that I need. And it's so fast. And it's so wonderful. And relief from what? <laughs> this pause face is really bad. Relief from what? Hey, Sarah, when you put a drop of lavender under your tongue, what are you relieving? Honestly, if she were to answer that question to my face right now, she'd list every single ailment on the planet because it's a cure-all. And we all know that cure-alls cure nothing. <laughs> I don't care how it tastes. How it's yeah. like... This is gonna help me. And then, hey, after that, drink some juice. Drink something right. you do like. Yeah. It's not like you have to sit for a long time and take not a chaser, right? Just right away. Like, do that and then drink something you like. Yeah. And I would say, so be expecting it to be a very bold yeah. flavor. Mama Goonie, I will say I do enjoy the smell of lavender. I don't think it smells like poo stink. Um, but I can understand why other people um, have different olfactory processes i don't know i like i love actually i love the smell of lavender it's one of my favorites uh but i don't know i guess that's just a personal preference
favor. Yeah. Because relieving you know, myself it, from joy. Really <laughs> right. Power, pa they are powerhouse power. drops of yeah. liquids. Mm -hmm. And so when you put that yeah. one drop, you know, you're getting a big, a big power punch. So it's not, it's not, it's going to be extremely flavorful, yeah. not necessarily sugar flavorful, just like right. you were saying. So, yeah. yeah. That's great. Well, I think that's all the basics. So there you go. So grab your oils, put one on. Dude, they have all three of those uh, diffusers on their table are all going. And, and, and they're just totally fine. Like I was telling you guys earlier, like I had one going in a room at one point and I never did it again because it like gave me a migraine. The room, the smell was just too strong. Meanwhile, I, I'll, I'll admit like whatever room they're in right now is obviously bigger than my little office. But like I cannot imagine how strong the scent is in this room. And all these people are just in there like, la, 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 la. <laughs> this is normal. It's not normal. What you people are doing, not normal. It doesn't smell good. It's going to give any normal person a migraine. Um, anyone with any sort of allergies to any plant ever is going to have an allergy attack. And you people are all just like, la, 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 this is fine. No, it's not fine. Drink one down, smell those, <laughs> put your nose in front of your diffuser, and enjoy your Young Living essential oils today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching That Oil Show. Loud, Make sorry. sure you like and subscribe to our channel Don't so do you it. can catch new episodes every first Tuesday of the month. And if you enjoyed learning about these amazing products and want some of your own, reach out to the person who shared that Don't oil that. show with you. Nice, nice. <laughs> Except not nice. Uh, um, what do I want to play us out with? Um. <laughs>